hectic earlier, and Todd keeps punching me in the shoulder. Pretty hard, too. I can't tell if it's their way of letting me feel like I'm part of the group or making me feel bad about myself. Chambliss said while his coworkers verbally demeaned him and even made him feel physically threatened at various points in the evening, they did so with large smiles on their faces, making it extremely unclear if his coworkers enjoyed his company or wanted him to leave the bar. Well, I told Jeff about this problem that I was having with my girlfriend, and he called me a pussy and then walked away. But then, like five minutes later, he came back with a beer that he had bought for me. What does that even mean? Apparently, I'm invited over to Todd's house for dinner this weekend. I guess that'll be fun. For more on this story, keep checking theonion.com. This is the Onion News Network. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show. Thank you for tuning in for Brian and my last Sunday show. Uh, in case you haven't heard the news, we are actually moving on and leaving the Sunday show. But never fear, the Sunday show will continue with Mark. And Mark, do you want to announce what's going to be happening with it, or should they tune in next week to be surprised? Well, at this at this point, where the expectation is is that Ian's going to uh, step in and do the Sunday show. The Sunday show is the second most live show that Free Talk Live has. Like. On the most radio stations? Live yeah, at the time. Yeah, like you're either live or you're not. It's kind of... <laughs> well, Free Talk Live is, uh, it's aired on 160-something radio stations across the country. A lot of those stations are exclusively on Saturday night or exclusively on Sunday night. In many cases, it's Saturday night. Um, but Sunday, the Sunday show's newer. And it's easier for stations to make a commitment to a Saturday night or a Sunday night or both nights mm -hmm. um, than it is to make them a, make a commitment for a weeknight. So what we thought we'd do is, is present, uh, you know, the, the, the two main hosts on that day, um, you know, since that's, since we're confronted with this issue as we are. <laughs> a, wise, a wise decision. Who came up with that, by the way? I, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's what's uh, continuing with the legacy of the uh, Sunday show. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll stop by if we're ever in Keene or something. We'll Apparently, we need to hire Stephanie as a consultant because most of her uh, decision, her choices uh, seem pretty good. I might be cheaper than the other consultants you work with. <laughs> Probably uh, true. <laughs> uh, and I am available for consulting services. No, just kidding. I've never done radio consulting, but um, this has been an awesome job for the last four years. You are a smart cookie. Thank you so much for listening. In case I don't get to say that again later, thank you, thank you, thank you for making Free Talk Live so awesome for us for the last several years. Me for four years and Brian for year and a half something like uh, that. actually almost, two, almost be, two it would have been two years in december okay cool so um we've got the green light to go on the air but <laughs> i was trying to think of a creative segue <laughs> but uh, mark had a story about red lights uh red light cameras in case you're just tuning in where the city of chicago is pulling some shenanigans they are uh shortening surreptitiously shortening the length of the yellow light from three seconds to 2.9 seconds hoping no one will notice but uh, all the while quietly pulling in an extra $8 million worth of tickets from these red light cameras that they have and uh, probably causing some more accidents, too, in the process. But they don't care about that. They just want the extra money. Apparently. Um, so the, actually, they have rescinded this policy. And oh. it's interesting that um, I'm interested in how they got caught. Just shaving off a tenth of a second. How does anybody know? You know, that... I think people know. Like... Okay, so I'm one of those people. Some people say it's because I'm because you're left-handed, like left-handed people, which I am, um, have a very good sense of time in their minds or something like okay. that. Okay. 
which saying this after we were just a minute late for the show. <laughs> but, Everybody's late sometime in their life. We know what time it is. We're just late. OK, <laughs> but uh, some people have just really good clocks in their heads and they know uh, they can tell you almost down to the minute what time it is um, in in the day. And they can tell you almost to the minute, like when a 30 minute timer is about to go off or something. So I'm willing to bet someone who just had a really keen sense of time noticed something was off because, you know, like you're right, Mark, I don't know that anyone could articulate how long exactly is a yellow light, but they know it when they see it and they know it when it feels like something has changed. Yeah. Well, when you're in a city, especially an older city like Chicago, uh, I know when I was in Utica, there was a strip that you could drive on and there was a series of four lights. And if you went 42 miles, the speed limit was was 35 through this strip. But if you went 42 miles per hour, you could go past all of them if they're green. Guaranteed, okay, you could do that. And suddenly that changed one day. And believe me, everybody in the city knew that it changed mm. um, because it was this really slow strip, lots of traffic. It was just a bottleneck for the city. It was terrible. And so I think it's very possible to develop patterns that everybody in a city knows to where this could become a problem. The interesting thing to me, though, is that clearly this was done to make more money. Is that safe to say? 77,000 additional red light uh, tickets. Now, wait a minute. Oh. I thought I thought this was the whole problem with Wall Street. That all they care about is getting money. You know, that's the whole reason they exist. That's these capitalist pigs. All they want is money. And yet here's your government who you are asking to protect you, quote unquote, from those from people. people who want and yet money. they're clearly doing all of their stuff, or not all, but quite a bit of their own policies based upon getting more money out of you. So it who's really, the good guy? Yeah, Nobody. <laughs> it really doesn't inspire a lot of trust in that system, does no. it? They're kind of trying to pull one over on people. And I would imagine that there was probably some, you know, citizen journalism going on to catch them for that, or there's watchdog groups or whatever. But most of the stories these days are broken by bloggers. Yeah. But it's frustrating because what do you do about it, right? Like if you realize that the city is corrupt, well, oh big deal, every city's corrupt, but you know, if you realize that the city is uh, shortening these yellow lights, what else can you do? You have to drive on their roads. Like, there, if you want to go to certain places, there's no other way to get there. We don't have flying cars. Um, you can't necessarily take other roads all the time. Maybe sometimes there aren't other All you roads. can do is beseech them or bemoan them yeah. um, and uh, try to get them to stop acting like they are. And at some point, the, it's interesting that a government tends to react in this way. This is at some point or another, they'll, they'll back off because... They understand that if people are significantly upset with them, that they just they lose legitimacy. You know, I'm just thinking about the concept of traffic lights in general. Um, there's a lot of things about the the roads which are made by the government, of course. Uh, and if you want to go call in and call us road hating libertarians, please do so. 855-450-3733. But there's a lot of things about the government roads that are just Perhaps they could use an update, like they're kind of archaic or inefficient or not the best system, you know, like I'm thinking of uh, maybe traffic lights aren't the best solution to uh, helping keep the flow of traffic stable and giving everyone a, a turn to go. Has there ever been any research done on that? I know there's been research on traffic circles, but those the results seem to conflict. And what is the actual answer? I like me a good cra traffic circle, I've got to say. If you're used to using them, you can I find them... Uh, terribly confusing <laughs> yeah just just pop right in and, and do your thing but I, you know my opinion is uh, traffic circles are, are better but i wouldn't claim that they're the best thing for every community or anything like that and when a government runs a monopoly or near monopoly on any in any sector it you, you, it defines the sector. so It does, yeah. We There's don't... no reason to continue pushing for innovation in the area of traffic lights or the, the problem of how do we make sure that people take turns when they're at an intersection, basically. That's the problem that needs to be solved. And are there any other solutions to that problem besides traffic lights and traffic circles? I don't, I don't know. I'm not an expert in this area, but shouldn't we let the market decide? Because it seems to me that entrepreneurs solve every other problem that's out there by trying to meet those needs for people and make a profit. So why don't we let them kind of try to figure this out instead of this old archaic institution we, that we call government? In most countries, they just don't have them. Uh, you, you just get to the yeah, intersection. it's, it's you, true. Yeah. You get your way through the intersection. You, you beep a horn, you kind of you know weave in and out, and you get through the intersection, and that's that. And it's interesting that 
here in the United States, horn beeping is essentially the equivalent of cussing out your window at somebody. <laughs> Whereas yeah, you know, in, other, in other countries, they use them as communication tools. Exactly. Yeah. And in other countries, um, you know, in some other countries in the world, people don't form lines when they're going to get food. You know, I, I remember. Really? Yeah. Like at, at McDonald's, everybody just kind of crowds up to the counter. And hmm. that's one way of doing it. Like, I remember reading this article once calling that kind of a uncivilized and saying McDonald's is great for these countries because they're spreading American culture. And now people form lines when they used to just rush the counter. But rushing the counter is a way of doing it, you know, and who's to say Should that be one, competition, one right? way is better than the other, right? What do you think? 855-450-3733. I would love to hear a creative solution um, for how to improve travel by car. If you have one, 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733, The Sunday Show. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at SupernaturalSilver.com are giving away six 16-ounce Supernatural Silver liquid valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry, contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver giveaway at GCNlive.com. Hi, I'm Sam Nussbaum, WellPoint's Chief Medical Officer. We proudly support the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together to provide children with a healthier start in life. Visit marchofdimes.org. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month. It turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. 
If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. This is the live Sunday night edition with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And this is the last chance you'll get to talk to all three of us in the same room, maybe for a while. So if you want to call in tonight, you can call us at 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE or on Skype, lrn.fm. We've also got a cam uh, at freetalklive.com. It's it's the studio cam where you can not only watch a video feed of the show going on, and it's your last chance to see me and Brian, <laughs> but uh, you can also chat with other listeners there at cam.freetalklive.com. Yeah, you can uh, go to LegalZoom.com if you, uh, well, if you need to get all kinds of different legal documents, whether it's a patent, a will, or trademark, if you're filing for divorce or you need immigration paperwork or bankruptcy, disability benefits, if you've got a DUI situation going on or DWI, depending on the state, uh, living trust, living will, all these uh, documents, they have may make it easy for you at LegalZoom.com. They're not lawyers, but it was started by an attorney. What they do is they ask you some questions, they fill out the forms for you, and all you have to do generally is sort of sign it and file it or whatever is one that does with these particular pieces of paper. I did my will over there, and I think it's really important. If you don't have a will, essentially what you're doing is leaving your family to the government and how, how they wish to Yikes. dispense with your stuff. So it's relatively easy, and we'll give you a little discount. Use coupon code FTL to save $10 on your order with a will. I think it was very, very uh, affordable, and that $10 is a significant percentage as far as savings goes. LegalZoom.com. It's fast, it's easy, and it is inexpensive. LegalZoom.com, coupon code FTL. Excellent. All right, let's go to the phones. That's what Free Talk Live is about, and talk to James in Des Moines. Hi, James. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Yes, uh, I'm a truck driver. I drive 18 wheeler for a living, and uh, you often wonder the uh, way stations that you'll see on the side of the interstate road. Yeah, uh, a truck a truck has to go in there and weigh his load with the with the state that he's going through, and you know he can only weigh 80,000 gross weight that has to be distributed over all all the axles correctly. And you know, Wisconsin has come up with something in the last month and a half. They've got the motion uh, uh, scales out there on the interstate now, mm-hmm. and they've got cameras. Out, they've got cameras out there on those, and it doesn't matter if the way station's open or not. Um, they'll take your picture, and you better have your seatbelt on, mm. and your load better be uh, properly weighted because if not, they'll send you a ticket in the mail. Wow! And then they've got unlimited time to look at that picture and see if they could possibly spot something they could get you for. <laughs> So wow! And if you're on your phone, if you're on your phone, you have to have be sure you have your Bluetooth on, and because if not, they'll they'll send you a ticket in the mail. Wow! How so? How long so, have you been doing this for? I've been driving for 24 years. Yeah, I bet you'd never seen anything Altogether. like that, huh? Well, it's, it's, everything's changing nowadays. I mean, everyone's going to electronic stuff. Yeah. yeah, this is really the definition of a surveillance state. Yeah, I mean, really seriously, is. James, thanks for the call. You know, James, you're... do you ever I mean, one of the things that I felt like with truck drivers is, is that they some states have these commercial divisions where they're going after you guys particularly. Do you do you kind of feel like you're just a cow that they milk for cash? I, I do at times. Yes, I, I do believe that they, they go after the drivers um, a lot of times, it's, even in accidents. They automatically cite the driver, and then once the investigation is done, if it's found that the truck driver was not at fault, it gets reimbursed. Aren't the truck drivers less um, than fifty percent of the time at fault? I mean, these you know these people drive for a living; they're going to be pretty skilled, right? Right, and uh, you know they they do all uh, all kinds of inspections on the truck and trailer, and you you have to have your medical card all in line and your CDL license in line, and if not, I mean they'll pull you over and they'll. They'll, uh, they'll rest you on the spot. They're checking your medical health. Like, wow, no other driver gets uh, their health checked on the road at the side of the road. This is Unless really you're in Pennsylvania. Stuff. What do they do in Pennsylvania? Well, that's where they, they could, the cops can do, uh, like, DNA tests or whatever, the swabs. Oh, they can draw blood Yeah, or something? they can draw blood, whatever it is, yeah. Wow. James, glad you're out there. Sorry to hear you have to deal with this, but thanks for your service. Yeah, thank you, you know, for your service. Tr- truckers are really what makes America go, so thank you very much for your call tonight. 
that's pretty unbelievable. Yeah, it's it crazy. Really, it really it's a crazy seems like story. It's ratcheting up lately. Let's talk to Carl in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Hi, Carl. You're on Free Talk Live. I'm glad I'm catching you before you're gone. Um, they also use some cameras for giving tickets on right on red. And my daughter's car got one. I don't know if she was driving there or not. The pictures were crystal clear that she had stopped. You can make a right on red there. The car made a right on red and got a ticket because apparently you have to be stopped for so long. And it wasn't no quick stop and go. I mean, it's like, really? So how can they prove that with a still picture as opposed to just a video? Then pictures are clear because you don't get a video of it. You get you know, different frames of it, and then pictures are clear. But it was, it was clear that the car was stopped, that there were no cars around, and you, there was no sign saying you couldn't make a right on red, and, and the ticket came in the mail. And this oh, is one of the okay. problems with uh, these, you know, the better yeah. enforcement of law. Because the law says that you need to make a full and complete rock back stop, right? That's the idea. Right. And I think it's ridiculous, um, whether whether she did or not, That uh, we'll leave that to the courts to decide. But it, what it's ridiculous is you don't need to stop that long. I mean, really, b- right. people are not stopping that long at stoplights all over America. And somehow we're managing to turn right on red and pedestrians aren't being creamed all over the place. Uh, <laughs> right. I, you just know, no, it's just fine, but the government wants to slow everything down. Yeah, there's no room for taking things on a case-by-case basis, and no matter how they enforce these laws, like with speeding, it's like in, what we have in most places now is there are cops hiding on the side of the highway, speed traps, monitoring right. people as they go by, going after the fastest ones or whoever they feel like going after, and right. uh, the, the application of those laws is inconsistent, so a lot of people speed and don't get in trouble, but some people do, but with these cameras, then supposedly they're applying the law more consistently, but... Are these people actually hurting anyone? Are they doing any damage? Or is it just no. enforcing this silly rule for the sake of money for the state? Because that's what it seems like. <laughs> it, it's all its all about taking the money out of your wallet. It's all about that. In fact, a lot of areas in, around me in the state, they're, they're, they want to do away with them. They know it's nonsense. They know it causes accidents. Good they luck uh, getting good luck getting the government to get rid of those. And Carl, thanks for the call tonight. Hope you yep. stay safe out there. There's a lot of people that don't like these red light cameras, and um, governments are shedding them over time because they're just a they're a bad idea. Yeah, they're so hated. But it, the problem true. is, is that they're addicted to the money. The government loves the money that comes from a red light camera because mm-hmm. cops can't issue red light tickets like these these gizmos can. Yeah, you know, it also brings to mind for me because again, a lot of people make fun of this in New Hampshire, but I think it's it's definitely an attraction is the fact that you you know it's not required by law to wear a seatbelt in new hampshire it's just how, one less thing they can get you for. yeah how long is it until those cameras you know it's like oh they weren't wearing a seatbelt and they shoot a ticket your way because yeah. of that here that doesn't occur we don't have cell phone laws either i think there is a law against texting while driving but how are they going to prove distracted that? driving yeah. yeah yeah but well it should be just distracted driving like if you cause an accident because you're distracted that's your fault but um i don't know outlawing the use of cell phones how much does that actually do you sometimes need to make emergency calls or whatever and some people are fine with it but anyway we We've got a call coming in from Thomas. He's listening in FEMA Region 6. Hey, Thomas, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi. Oh, how are you all doing tonight? Good to hear you all. And yeah, good I, to I hear you. Chiming in and say that, you know, all of these police officers, they all want to go home at the end of their shift, don't you think? You know, I just want to make a day's work of it. It's all about the money to them that they're yep. they're. Yeah, they're when just I was, doing my job. Yeah, when I was in the military, it's the same thing. You just want to do 9 to 5. Yeah. Oh, crack dealers in the Gestapo doing this just just do just did their jobs you know and they all want to go they all want to go home and you know go out and make some criminals out of people that are not go push some speeding tickets or take a pic you know set up the camera to make it convenient for them or whatever don't don't go kick the crack horse crack house door down because they might get a little resistance don't 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 do anything in a Are you saying they, they tend to go I after mean, I, the easy targets, like drivers on the road? I, I think cops are inherently, most of them are cowards. Thanks for the call, Thomas. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they certainly do go after easy targets. So you well, can protect people yourself tend from to that do by, those by not being an easy target, by challenging these things. Take them to court if you can. What's wrong with that? If, if that's something you're up for. 855 450 free. Have you fought a red light camera or speeding camera ticket? Tell us what you think. 855 450 free. Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. 
Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia with his wife, kids, and grandkids all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Hi, folks. Ronnie McMullen here for Life Change Tea. Healthcare is a problem, whether you're for or against Obamacare. It's a mess. My question is, who do you trust? Do you want to be told what to do, or do you want to make your own decision? My opinion, preventative maintenance. Keeping your colon clean is preventative maintenance. A little exercise, a balanced diet, and drinking Life Change Tea. It tastes great, and it helps with constipation, high cholesterol, liver problems, acid reflux, and much, much more. And with the holiday season upon us, you can get some extra tea for free. Don't wait for Obama. Make your own decision. Order now. Call us at 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or you can log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Ridding yourself of harmful toxins is truly preventative maintenance. Getthetea.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. This is the live Sunday show. Yes, we are live on Sunday evening here for you. And we is me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Yes, me and Brian's last show. Oh, yep, yeah, Mark. Brian and I. Uh, yes, my <laughs> my last show and Brian's last show. And yeah, something like that. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. It's our last time, okay? <laughs> so if you want to talk to us, you better do it quick. 855-450-3733. Still got a couple hours left in tonight's program. The night is young. So, and of course, you can bring up anything that's on your mind. That is why we call it Free Talk Live at 855-450-FREE. 
855-450-3733 or on Skype at lrn.fm. And of course, those are the ProXPN toll-free call-in lines. But what That's is right. ProXPN? Well, this is the last time I get to say this, so <laughs> I'm going to say it with some Make oomph. it count. That's right. <laughs> If we really you, love Pro- ProXPN. Here. Yes, we do. I love ProXPN. If you are concerned, if you want to take control of your privacy, your online privacy, which is just as important, it's totally analogous to your offline privacy, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go to ProXPN.com, get their VPN, that's Virtual Private Network. What that is, I know that sounds long, but all it is, it's just software that you download. You can put it on your smartphone, your tablet, your computer, you take your pick. Okay, and it will encrypt all the data that you send up to the Internet, to the cloud, to, you know, to your ISP before it even gets to then. It all gets done client side on your machine. Okay, and it will keep prying eyes, whoever that happens to be. It could be a bad actor in an airport. Okay, it could be the NSA watching you at home, whatever. Some airports are just bad news. Right. It's going to encrypt. Yeah, some airports are just bad news. It's going to encrypt uh, your data before it gets wherever it's going. And this is so key. This is so important. This is step one. If you are trying, again, to take control of your privacy, this is step one. So go to ProXPN.com. Just do me the favor. Use the code FTL50 or the code FTLBTC if you're going to use Bitcoin. And you're going to get a great deal on no matter what plan you go with. But uh, if you use that FTL50, you'll get 50% off the price of an annual account. Or if you if you use FTLBTC, you'll get 62% off the price of an annual account. I mean, this is inexpensive stuff that you can do to protect your digital life and thus your real life. So please do it. Go to ProXPN.com. Use those codes. Just do me that favor. ProXPN. Indeed. So smart to protect yourself online. Absolutely. ProXPN.com. All right. Let's go to the phones. We've got Darren calling from Des Moines. Hi, Darren. Hello. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? Doing great tonight. What's on your mind? Oh, just I was talking. You guys were talking about the ways the government likes to kind of take people's money. Uh, I, there's uh, so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was in an accident uh, just a few months back, and what happened was um, the the uh, police officer had written down the wrong insurance information, and when they went to double check on it, they found that I didn't have it. They said that I didn't have insurance, which I did. The gentleman's vehicle was taken care of. Everything's fine. But because of that, they suspended my license. Now oh. they're making me pay a two hundred dollar fee to get the suspension lifted, and I have to pay all new fees and get my license reinstated, what? which means I have to retake all of my tests. And I'm a CDL. I have a CDL. Oh no! But I'm a oh. diesel mechanic, and so I have to redo all of my driving tests and everything, and I have to pay all the fees along the way. Wow. I'm looking at right around three hundred dollars. That is so frustrating, and you have no recourse. They're probably like, ah, "Tell it to the judge," or, or can you even well, fight it this in court? Is this something you can challenge? I'm I'm looking into it with a lawyer right now, just because of the mere fact I don't want to take the thing. I, yeah. I I even was given an email way, so I emailed the people that review your information because I had to bring all of my insurance information in so that they could see that I had insurance. And I even explained to the person via email. I said. I was really looking for some lenience here, 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 because I didn't really do anything at fault. I had insurance the whole time. The guy was taken. It was said it was just that the follow up was done incorrectly because the officer wrote the wrong insurance company down. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, they said no. They said, well, we'll, we'll lift the suspension because now you're showing us we have insurance, but you still have to pay all the fees and and everything. They <sighs> couldn't just wave it's it. It's just wave it so all. blatant, and it's not your fault, and you shouldn't have to spend all this time with a lawyer. And to what try do these fees do? Mistake. What do these fees do to make the victim whole in any way? Right? Nothing. Like this is just the government saying, "Oh, look, we found somebody who did something bad. Get him! <laughs> Get him!" Exactly. I mean, in my town, uh, it's 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 hilarious. Uh, they they have this system where if you if your dog gets out and kills somebody else's chicken, they're going to give you a fine. They're not going to give the money to the person to buy another <laughs> chicken. They're just going to keep the money. <laughs> Exactly, and the in the money. Where does it go, really? That's what I would like to know. Down it's just a black, black hole, hole and into and some <laughs> bureaucrat's pocket. Darren, really exactly. sorry you have to deal with that. I hope it gets straightened out. Ever thought of just moving to a different state and just saying f this? <laughs> oh, you know, it, it's always been on my mind. But you know, you're really not gonna. You're not gonna. You're just gonna follow you wherever you go. There's no way you're gonna really get around any of it because I mean, you go from one state's crazy rules to the next state's crazy rules. You know? Yeah, it's true. I, I just, I remember when I got I, my... I look a lot of the way... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, you, go ahead. I, I, I said I look a lot of ways, like uh, here in Iowa, we have no... We have a seatbelt license, but we have nothing 
for a helmet law. Mm-hmm. So on motorcycles, you're perfectly fine to roll around with no helmet. But by God, if you're in your car, you better have a seatbelt on, or they're going to give you that two hundred and eighty dollar ticket that they give you around here. Yeah, yeah it just shows how arbitrary just it is. Proves it's all about safety, not <laughs> <laughs> Darren. Sorry to hear about this, and uh, thank you very much for calling in tonight. Hope that gets better for you. You know, uh, my son Jack was asking about why I didn't have my seatbelt on. I was, uh, we were going to the. Hmm. the Does, tra- is it? Do you require that he wear his seatbelt? It well, the government requires that he wear his seatbelt, and mm-hmm. I can assure and you, you his that? mother requires that he wears the seatbelt. Uh, mm-hmm. The the car can't roll anywhere until he is strapped in, so he's good and indoctrinated. But um, his I, mother doesn't require that you wear a seatbelt. Uh, yeah, not so, not so much. She would, she would like me to adhere to the rules uh, better, but uh, you know, so far she hasn't been able to make that happen. But I happen to be going down. This is the transfer station. It's just a few blocks down. Um, it's in a 35 mile an hour zone. I'm in my truck. I just put the garbage in, and he, um, Jack, helps me with it. And he was asking me why I don't have my seatbelt on, and what the, you know, why he has to have his on. And I was talking about the That's law in New Hampshire. That's a great question. He's a little, um, he's pointing out some contradictions there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's asking questions and, and wondering. And I said, well, in the state of New Hampshire, an adult can decide whether or not they wear a seatbelt. And a child up to the age of 18, a person up to the age of 18, has to, because I talk to, I tell him a man is at 12. Um, so, you know, that's, you know, that's when you're a man. Um, that's the what arbitrary you, number I've picked. What age is a girl a woman? The 12 is fine by me. I don't know. I don't have one, so I don't have to care. <laughs> um, but, you know, so I, I tell him a person on up the age of 18 has to wear wear a seatbelt and then at that point they can decide for themselves and you know he he's thinking about it and it just kind of let it go at that point but it was kind of interesting i you know you don't get to make the decision i'm old old enough to decide whether or not i wear a seatbelt i am not old enough to decide whether or not my son is going to wear a seatbelt well it's, it's interesting what you're doing there because you're kind of just you're kind of just passing the buck to the government it's well the government says you have to wear your seatbelt i can i get to decide but you don't I mean, I kind of like, why would a kid wear a seatbelt if his father doesn't see the value in wearing a seatbelt and doesn't want to wear his? You know what I mean? Like, that's a great observation. He's just being connected to reality. He's just seeing something and asking about a contradiction that he sees. He sees it about 90% of the time. So this was an unusual thing for him, too. So he's uh, sort of pointing out something that's unusual. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean... So it's not as though you don't wear your seatbelt all the time. I've let him ride up front in the vehicle before, and I have let him... uh, if I've offered him the opportunity to drive the truck up the driveway um, coming back from the dump. He's just not particularly adventurous. Uh Uh-huh. So... Well, wait wait a couple years on that, but... So, okay, I, I was a little bit By the way, he was going to sit in my lap and steer the truck. He's six <laughs> years old. He cannot reach the pedals. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, so you're not being a total hypocrite there. I thought you were. <laughs> That's fine, baby. I can kids live with hypo- great hypocrisy. At, kids are just great at, at um, rooting out hypocrisy, which it's, is why It's they, what makes us human. Which is why they often ask these challenging questions about the government, because there's so much hypocrisy inherent in the government, just like... Like a hypocritical parent telling you, you have to do this because I told you so. Do as I say, not as I do. Isn't that always the most frustrating thing we hear from authoritarian figures? So 855-450-3733 is our phone number here on Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. If you want to talk to us about the hypocrisy of uh, police, government people, or um, tell us your driving stories, we welcome them. 855 450 free. You know, I got to wonder. I mean, that just reminds me of uh, because in New York, when I was growing up, uh, this would be the 80s and early 90s, uh, you didn't have to wear when you were on a bicycle, you didn't have to wear a helmet. And then it changed, fortunately, right around the exact time I was turning 18, that you had to wear a bicycle helmet until you, you know, turned 18. And, you know, I just, I never found. And maybe the statistics just didn't exist, but I never found where somehow the amount of injuries that occur on a bicycle got any better dependent upon whether or not you were wearing a, you know, a helmet at this various time. It, the, these these laws really do just seem to, they're just, they're very nanny. There, there is no, I don't think there's even any real uh, stuff behind them. People are different too. I mean, like the, the, especially the laws that say you have to have kids below a certain weight or age in a car seat of a certain type. Right. Like kids are different and different ages. People have different bodies. Anyway, this is Free Talk Live, the Sunday show, 855 450 free. We're going to continue our motor, motorist theme coming up here. Gun ownership about target shooting, hunting, and self defense, or is there more to it? 
Oath Keepers and Rayburn Entertainment present Molon La Bay, inspired by the works of Edwin Vieira Jr., explains why we need to revitalize the state militia system. Featuring Ron Paul, Pat Buchanan, Larry Pratt, and Stuart Rhodes. Available on DVD at moviepubs.net, oathkeepers.org, and gunowners.org. Lumber Liquidators, America's largest specialty flooring store, is using our buying power to offer great deals on over 230 hardwood and laminate floors just in time for the holidays. Get pre-finished three-quarter inch solid maple for $159 a square foot. That's more than half off other stores. Save up to 43% on our thickest and best laminates. Plus, attach padding at no extra cost and get other incredible flooring deals. Plus, 18-month special financing. Get to your local store. These deals are going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, November 9th, 2014. Silver is trading at $15.80 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,178 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $349. Antiwar.com reports scores of people were killed in a U.S. attack near Mosul when airstrikes were launched against a crowd of people that the Pentagon figured might conceivably be a gathering of leaders of the Islamic State. Details beyond that are scant as people in Mosul reported 50 bodies were brought in from the attack, but they had no idea who the people were. CENTCOM was similarly unclear on what they actually hit. The attack sparked speculation that the Pentagon might be trying to kill Khalif Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, and while while they would clearly like to target him, the Pentagon conceded that they are unsure if Baghdadi was at the meeting at all, assuming it was actually a meeting, and whether he was hit, if indeed he was present. The lack of intelligence about what they're aiming at is a growing problem for the Pentagon as they escalate attacks against the Islamic State, as a growing number of civilian deaths have been reported in recent days. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs offers premium publicity campaigns designed to facilitate an organization's adoption of Bitcoin as a payment system and to fully capitalize on that decision in their fundraising efforts. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross-promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. The New York Times reports North Korea released two Americans who had been accused of trying to subvert the reclusive state after the Director of National Intelligence for the United States, James Clapper, flew to the country on a secret mission and departed Saturday with the men aboard his aircraft. In a terse statement issued by Clapper's office, the Americans, Kenneth Bay and Matthew Todd Miller, were described as on their way home, accompanied by Clapper. Officials said they were likely to land on the West Coast, where Bay and Miller both live late Saturday night. Miller is from Bakersfield, California, and Bay is from Linwood, Washington. 
It was an unusual role for Clapper, the nation's most senior intelligence official, whose job is to coordinate policy and operations among the nation's 16 spy agencies. Gruff, blunt, and seen by many in the Obama administration as a throwback to the Cold War, the retired general is an unlikely diplomat, but in the words of one U.S. official, perfect for the North Koreans. Together with the release last month of Jeffrey Fowle, who had been held for six months, the decision to let the two Americans go is the latest evidence that Kim Jong-un, North Korea's unpredictable and untested young leader, is trying his first approaches to the Obama administration since taking power. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Reuters reports hundreds of thousands of Catalans are expected to back independence from Spain today in a symbolic referendum on secession being held across the northeast region despite opposition from Madrid. The consultation of citizens follows a legal block by the central government against a more formal, albeit still non-binding, ballot which regional leaders had been pushing for. Pro-independence organizations have campaigned vigorously for a big turnout from the wealthy region's 7.5 million people and more than 40,000 volunteers will have have set up informal voting stations. Pro-secession politicians hope a high level of support will prompt the central government to sit down with them and negotiate more tax and political autonomy, or even convince Madrid to accept a full-blown independence referendum in the future. Officials from Catalonia's two main political parties have suggested that backing from more than 1.5 million people would help build momentum for their cause. However, those who are not in favor of separation are not expected to take part in the vote. Roberto Ruiz says, no, I'm not voting, this will not make a difference, and I'm against independence anyway. I'm Catalan, but I'm Spanish, too. Opinion polls show that as many as 80% of Catalans back having a vote on the issue of Catalonia's independence, with about 50% in favor of full independence. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Welcome back to the ONN Presidential Democra Kiosk Debate. If you're just tuning in, tonight, in an historic first, Americans can ask any question at any time just by stepping into one of the thousands of democracy kiosks we've placed in front of 7-Elevens across the country. Decatur, Illinois, let your voice be heard. Hi, everybody. My name's Joe Crawford, and my question is, how many taco and cheese taquitos do you think I can eat in 60 seconds? Kevin, uh, have we screened all of these? We haven't, but we can. We can't. Great. Straight from the heart of America, raw and unfiltered, Rockville, Maryland, to Boulder, Colorado. This is the most powerful sword in the planet. So we really can't screen these things, Kevin? Not at all. OK, then I think I'll just ask a question of my own. What's that? OK, no, I won't. Austin, Texas. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. This is the live Sunday night show. We're kicking off the second hour of tonight's program with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Brian and my last show. Brian's in my last show. We Oh, this was a problem last time. It is our last show. Mark is going to continue doing the Sunday show with Ian. And uh, I think that's going to be great. I think people really like that. Um, so I just wanted to let everybody know that, you know, we're not going to stop podcasting or anything. We kind of talked about this in an after show a couple of weeks ago on the Sunday edition. But for those of the, those of you who didn't catch it, if you want to know uh, where you can keep in touch with me and Brian, uh, Brian has his own podcast. It's called Sovereign Tech. It's a technology and science podcast. And I'm the producer. And uh, I love his show. You it's can- a lot of fun. You can find it at sovrynntech.com and just awesome production. Like Brian, <laughs> Brian really puts on a show. So if you are interested in seeing that, check out sovereigntech.com, subscribe to his show. And uh, we also do a podcast together. Um, we haven't made a show in a while, but we did start up this podcast. It's called Sex and Science Hour, which is a. Uh, it's basically self-explanatory. It's a show where we talk about sex and science stories, and we have a lot of fun. We're going to be rebooting that here at some point, too. 
Uh, we haven't made a, a show in a while, as I mentioned, but you'll be able to find it there so you can subscribe at sexandsciencehour.com. And that's where you'll find us. All right, 855-450-3733 is the number here on Free Talk Live. One more time, 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. Call and bring up anything that's on your mind. But we have been talking about um, car talk tonight. <laughs> it's yeah, car it talk live. <laughs> it does seem like the uh, the stories have been about uh, cars and that sort of thing with the, uh, the red light. You know, uh, it's so cameras. tied with freedom. Like, I just remember being 16 and learning how to drive for the first time. And that was freedom. When I had a vehicle, I could go wherever I wanted to go pretty much. And oh, yeah. no one could stop me. And a, a car is really a, a big step in terms of personal freedom. Yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't have in my house when I was, you know, 17, okay, I, I wasn't allowed to have sex in the house. You know, I mean, I really wasn't allowed to have much of anything in the house as, so, as far uh, as women So you goes. just became a virgin and stopped having That's sex, right. right? I, uh, yeah, went to the monastery, did the whole thing. and No. <laughs> but what I did is I went out and, uh, you know, I purchased the uh, the largest car I could find. And I actually had that car for some time, and that was my answer to solving the authoritarian regime that my parents had me under at the time. And uh, so what cars really dictators? do provide freedom. I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really do. Um, except if they have kill switches in them where they can be turned off at any time. Yeah. And that's what I want to that's where I want to go next. Brian, you've got a story here about uh people who have poor credit essentially being subjected and dis- discriminated against, I would say, um and subjected to having kill switches installed in their cars where they can be shut off if they make a late payment. Yeah, and I mean that's one aspect of it, but I think there's a lot more to talk about and of course we'll get into it, uh, you know, as we go through the story. Yeah, well, actually, hold that thought because right. we do have a call coming in. I, Cliffhanger. I, I want to talk about this, but let's first talk to Brian listening in St. Louis. Hey, Brian, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi. Uh, well, first of all, Stephanie and Brian, that's the first I've heard uh, that you guys will no longer be on the show. Um, that, um, <laughs> I'm uh, sad to hear that, but I'm, I'm very excited to uh, see what you guys come up with next. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. We didn't, I mean, I, I, I guess I figured people would kind of be hearing about it later. We kind of announced it about three weeks ago, but some people still haven't heard yet because they, you know, don't catch up on the podcast. But yeah, we're basically uh, going to be moving on. And then the Sunday show is going to be Mark and Ian. So I'm sure that will be great. And we will continue to podcast and maybe drop into Free Talk Live here and there if we have a chance. We'd love that. <laughs> thank you. So there, what, what else was on your cool. mind, Brian? Well, um... I'm sure you guys don't remember me. I called in maybe five months ago uh, with an incident out of St. Louis where, uh, I guess to briefly go back, I was uh, recording police doing some things they shouldn't do to someone that wasn't really doing much wrong. Uh, and they decided to stick me with an interfering with an investigation and later a passive interference or a passive uh, what is this, uh, resisting arrest charge. That's what it would be. You know, Brian, uh, I, I actually think I do re- remember you calling in, but just for our listeners who maybe don't remember it, um, go ahead and, and recap as much as you need to. And if there's any new developments, um, love to hear about those. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, um, well, there was a guy in a bar who was being talked to by police, and out of habit, I typically re- take out my camera and record any time uh, police doing anything, really. Um, well... Uh, I was kind of, you know, staying back doing my own thing uh, until they started getting a little more aggressive with the guy. And I, you know, the guy didn't seem like he was doing much, and I felt that was inappropriate. So I went to the, one of the officers standing to the side, uh, and I, I asked why he was being arrested. And, um, you know, he didn't, he wasn't very, very talkative, and he really didn't like the fact that he saw me with a camera. Sure, well, I bet. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, um... One thing led to another, and uh, he ended up try, uh, charging me with uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, interfering with an investigation. And, uh, Did he ask you to get on. back and you didn't or something like that? I mean, what was the basis of that? Um, yeah, uh, he asked me, um, he, sa- he said that I was interfering, uh, and... Um, he tried to snatch up my phone, and uh, when I, faced, I said, you can't touch my phone, uh, he, I guess, got more angry with me, and he put me in handcuffs. Mm. Okay. Right. And then the passive well, resisting was 
Oh, how how was, can you passively? Uh, re- it seems like resistance is an active act. <laughs> yeah, it would seem that way to me. Well, if he, if they're going to be able to get you, it's going to be able to get you for sort of asking questions. But I think that that's really tenuous. Yeah. It's likely you're not only going to win this, but that if you contact your ACLU in your state, um, Ian basically won some amount of money. Uh, he got it, a settlement. He yeah. got a settlement in this situation because of you know this kind of thing. Yeah, they, was it was that based on the precedent of the Glick case where this guy who was well, a lawyer Glick in Massachusetts was recording the police and he got arrested for it basically? Well, the Glick case was just a restatement of what judges had been saying all along, and judges are really trying to send the message to police, and it's difficult because police really have very little responsibility for paying no. for their mistakes, even if they make a mistake and get found guilty for it or whatever they don't have to personally pay the victim a settlement or anything it comes from the tax money but the judges are trying to send the message home across the united states hey cops you've got to let people videotape you now i don't know what happens specifically in this instance and i'm kind of curious the da or the prosecutor or whatever they haven't dropped this and said well we're gonna let you off this time son well, actually, uh, yeah, that's, that comes into play. Um, you know, a couple months later, you know, I'm settling this uh, with my lawyer, and uh, they offered to drop all the charges. Um, you know, they saw the video, and they agreed it was kind of a bogus case. They dropped all the charges in return for me uh, not pressing any charges uh, against, oh, against their misconduct. Not pressing any charges and, against them. Yes, yeah, and that was, that was the deal that was on the table, and my dad, who was, very helpful with my legal bills and all that was basically like look you're not going to do anything with this we just want to get it behind us and you know more or less for him i ended up signing this deal originally okay Hmm. um well fast forward to maybe a couple weeks ago uh in a totally unrelated case um i'm out and i'm holding up a sign in front of a speed trap in my neighborhood um, trying to warn drivers you need to move to down. New Hampshire and stop whatever you're doing there. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm more inclined to agree with you given recent events. Um, well, uh, the uh, the cop uh, in this case didn't really like what I was doing. Uh, came up to me and he was he was very polite at first, um, and basically tried to say that he wasn't speech tra- or he wasn't. Uh, doing radar, he was just uh, filling out paperwork. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. Well, we're just going to, you know, step out of your way. So we set up a little bit left down the road. Well, what could be the problem? Even if he was just doing paperwork, if you have a sign that says speed trap ahead, what's going to happen? People are probably going to slow down. So shouldn't he want that to happen? (laughs) That was my impression. (laughs) Well, uh, well, it actually gets a little more interesting and uh, we're, we're held up at, a, at another point, and he's still, you know, he's facing, like, the road in an angle. There's a parking lot right next to him that he's not using. He's clearly there, you know, to get an angle on speeders. I mean, he's not filling out paperwork. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, so we're up there for a minute, and uh, I guess he notices us and comes up. And uh, uh, instead of, uh, oh, he comes up to us and he says, uh, well, I'm just going to follow you. Brian, hold that thought. I want to hear the rest of this story, but uh, we'll have to have a cliffhanger. One sec. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. If you've got cop stories or want to talk to us about the roads, 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least $10,000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? 
For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. We are live this Sunday evening. That means you can call in at 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. You can also get a free pound of coffee by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. There, all you have to do is sign up for the subscription. You can cancel it at any time, and you'll get a free pound of the best of the best coffee. You can take your pound of coffee and go. But if you really enjoy the coffee, here's an here's an opportunity to switch. Now, you probably drink coffee every day, and this is a way to get better, healthier, more delicious coffee that helps people. Because what BuzzBox does that most coffee companies don't do is they send back to us some of the proceeds so that we can turn it into microloans through Kiva.org. And this has been really successful for us because we're able to give microloans to people around the world, and we've been using Kiva for years. I've been using Kiva for years. We uh, switched over from World Vision to Kiva recently, but we've given a lot of microloans out and helped a lot of people with a hand up, not a hand out. And I think that's what's important. They know what's right for their lives. We've helped people, uh, for instance, buy used appliances so that they can fix them and sell them in their store, get restaurant equipment, fix a fix cars, buy cows, all kinds of things that are helpful to them. And that is that's how people are getting out of poverty. They're going to work their way out. Coffee.freetalklive.com to help. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. Yeah, and those loans, when they get paid back, can be uh, reissued to someone new. That's exactly right. So it's going to stay in that system forever. That was also your idea, Stephanie. 
Thank you. Yes, I'm full of them. <laughs> I am full of good ideas. No, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I'm glad you ended up going that route, Mark. You were actually the one who initially told me about Kiva, and I've I've since then made uh, made loans myself personally on Kiva. Yeah, I wanted to go with the Ramallah Friends School, and I think that it was just too um, too esoteric for people. You know, what are friends exactly? Where is Ramallah? Is that a Quaker thing? It's a Quaker thing, right? Where is Ramallah? Ramallah is in the West Bank. <laughs> okay. Also, people felt like it might be exploitive That's of the Gaza little, problem. Yeah, it could be a little politicized, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I don't know entirely. Um, Gaza, uh, West Bank, Gaza, not the same place, but, you know. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean— Actually, um, that experience was kind of uh, big for me, Mark, hearing about Kiva from you in, I think it was 2009 was when I started using it, because it got me interested in micro lending. And that was the subject that I've since written articles about and given mm-hmm. talks about and done a lot of research on. So that kind of opened the door for me. So it was your good idea first. <laughs> I just recycled it back to you. Let's go back to Brian in St. Louis. Brian, you were starting to tell us a story about how you were you were doing some activism in your area in uh, St. Louis there. You were holding up a sign by the side of the road that said speed trap ahead to warn the incoming motorists, which I love that, by the way. I mean, you've got to be the most popular guy in the city if you're doing that, saving people from speed tickets, potentially. But the cop didn't like it so much that uh, you were warning people about. And so what happened next? Well, um, you know, there was the original interaction that I had uh, with the officer, which was pretty brief. And uh, he told me he wasn't speed trapping and then kind of got back in the same position. And uh, so I went down the road and... uh, you know, for uh, another maybe 10, 15 minutes. Oh, by the way, I should I should note, you know, uh, my, and that was the first time I had ever done this. Uh, the interactions from drivers were overwhelmingly positive, and you know, it, I it was definitely I, I felt really supported in that way. Um, but uh, anyway, um, I get to a point where the, the officer comes back to talk to me again, and he kind of pulls the cruiser up and he says, "I'm just going to follow you," and uh, I'm kind of kind of caught in an odd place um, and it's like uh okay well you know we're just we're just gonna keep moving ahead then i guess follow you uh, on foot or on with his car uh he is he's following me in his cruiser yes and you were on foot uh, and i'm on foot oh and, okay wow that's weird sounds like there's a lot well, of places you can go he can't <laughs> <laughs> there were let's but, go to the uh, mall at that point <laughs> <laughs> we were like well you know if this guy's going to give us a hard time, we're, we're going to give a little hard time back. So we just kind of held up the sign and walked down the road with him. Not even really. It's not even causing an effect anymore. There's, he's maybe 15 feet behind us. Uh, but, I bet uh, drivers anyway. are really confused at what they were yeah, seeing. Yeah, there's a scene <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for the heads up. It's right there. Now, uh, <laughs> well, um, anyway, he does this for a minute, and then he turns around, and we think we're leaving. Or he's leaving, and it was like, great, we, you know, we shut down the speed trap, and... We also deterred some speeders in the process. That felt really good. Well, I see he kind of turns into the little cul-de-sac where our cars are located. And uh, I'm like, okay, we need, you know, we need to run, check this out, and, you know, make sure, because, you know, my brother, he drives a Jeep Wrangler, and it doesn't have a top, so he can really do whatever he really wants to do. Um, well, we get over there, and uh, I guess he's, he's still in his cruiser, and I, I, presumably running our plate. And uh, we just go to our cars and we keep recording. Uh, we're now we're just waiting for him to leave, and then we're gonna pack up and go home. Well, yeah, I bet you uh, wouldn't want to leave in front of him because he's gonna try to get you for something. Right? <laughs> exactly. So we're just standing behind the car, kind of recording, and uh, he, you know, like they always love to do. I don't, I never, I never really understood this, but he'll start recording me. I, I guess kind of like the the fun maybe. We'll teach you and your I, camera. I, yeah. Uh, um, I, some people like transparency more than others. Well, um, anyway, um, so there's a short interaction there, and ultimately he ends up leaving, and uh, we're feeling good, and we drive home. Well, maybe five hours later, uh, I get a, it's, it's maybe, maybe 10 o'clock, and there's a knock at the front door, and I know my brother's outside smoking, so it's like, oh, he must have, let, he must have locked himself outside. So I kind of crack open the door, and I see this very same police officer at my. Just keep in mind my dad's house. Yeah, oh, my, creepy. My he stalked you. Them, right, my address to them should have been my apartment. So I, you know, he must have looked at me, and then in turn maybe my dad to find that address. 
or I'm not sure how that would work. I just, uh, but anyway. Or maybe he um, followed you there. <laughs> that, that, man, now you're making it even more creepy. Uh, <laughs> it's it is creepy. It's a violation of your personal boundaries. Either way you slice oh, it. Absolutely. Yeah. So well, what happened after that? Well, I see his face and immediately I, I kind of shrug. I'm like, am I being detained? And uh, he says, I've got one better for you. And he pushes open my front door, steps inside, turns the light on, and puts me in handcuffs. And I'm completely confused. I, oh. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't I, think he it, can do that. I don't, like, if you, I, yeah, you didn't want to let him in. You weren't opening the door for a reason. He pushed it open. No, oh, if if he's yeah. if he has probable cause for an arrest, he can. And you come to the door, you can certainly. Did he, he can, have a warrant though? Wouldn't he need a warrant for his arrest? Was, nope, not yeah, if the door's open. The end, it's like a vampire. That was the un- <laughs> that was the unfortunate answer I got from my lawyer because that was my very first question: is How could he do this? Hmm. Well, uh, he he did have probable cause for my arrest, and it turns out I had two warrants in my name, and I'm completely confused. I have no idea how I could have two warrants. Well. Oh, and by the way, I have to see these warrants while I'm in my home because I don't want to go anywhere with the armed stranger that doesn't like me very much. Of course. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so real quick, well, finish up the story, 20 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yes, we get to the car and we find out uh, that uh, these warrants that I have are actually duplicates from my original charge uh, from five months previous. Now, uh, <laughs> wow. I guess... I've, I've been charged twice in one set of charges. They were going through. My lawyer was taking care of and One of them, none of us even knew about. And, Man, uh, what a story, it, Brian. I hope it works out for you. Thanks for calling. This is Free Talk Live. Oh, thank you. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at SupernaturalSilver.com are giving away six 16-ounce Supernatural Silver liquid valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry. Contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver Giveaway at GCNlive.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Which order you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't gonna make. Wait, wait, no. now. Wait a minute. Holy oh, crap! Yeah, hey! Oh my God! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. 
When commercials come on, don't push the button. Instead, listen. Even if you don't sell things for a living, you're still selling in the various conversations and transactions that make up your busy day. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're a job seeker. So take a lesson from Madison Avenue. Often the fewer words, the more effective the message. Like Jiffy Lube, where you never need an appointment, or the Office Max ad that says, you supply the ambition, we supply everything else. How about online ticket broker StubHub.com, the way in when it's sold out, or CyberCupid Match.com's seductive, go ahead, it's okay to look. How cleverly and succinctly can you distill your message? For more tips, hit SurvivalSpeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. <laughs> this is Free Talk Live. Sorry, I didn't warn you guys. <laughs> we are live here on Sunday evening. Tonight, it's me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. It's a three-for-one deal for the last time. This is your final opportunity to talk to the three of us together as a team because Brian and I are moving on from the Sunday show. It's going to be Mark and Ian coming up here in the following weeks. But if you want to talk to us, you can do that tonight at by dialing 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. That is, of course, the Pro XPN toll-free call-in lines for you. Have you ever noticed how foreign news seems to have completely different headlines and different takes on, oh, I don't know, uh, the U.S.'s foreign policy than domestic news organizations? Things that make you go, hmm. Hmm. Well, antiwar.com uh, makes a real effort to try to get you the truth about what's going on, the answers, the facts. What antiwar.com doesn't, uh, doesn't have, however, is a pot of gold. They get a huge re readership, but the war machine has the magic of the Federal Reserve's printing press and the mainstream media. All AntiWar.com has is, is you. The AntiWar.com staff is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay. They're committed to keeping the website up with the best of the worst of all the bad news. But they can't keep this going for free. They can't do it without you. They need your donation. Please go to AntiWar.com and donate or call them today. They proudly and gladly take Bitcoin, antiwar.com slash donate, because war is the health of the state. All right. You know, we just had that call from Brian in the last segment, and he had a lot of story to tell about his uh, speed trap activism. He basically had this incident where he had been doing some recording of police, uh, got arrested for it, had the charges cleared, or so he thought. Then had another incident where he was warning people about a speed trap. The cop followed him home and arrested him on an outstanding warrant for his last thing that he thought was cleared. So he... I, he didn't quite get to finish his story. I, I felt bad about that. But, Mark, you wanted to say, Brian, move to New Hampshire. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, for one, what a surprise. The government uh, doesn't keep its paperwork very well. Um, they were supposed to have those charges dropped, and they Why didn't. Why would they? It doesn't right. affect them. Who so cares? he's going to spend the night or two nights or however long in jail, and the police officer is going to use the... The, the violence inherent in the system to uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, oppress this guy um, for no good reason mm -hmm. at all because he didn't like that this guy was warning people. This is constitutionally protected speech. The sp Supreme Court has said that it's constitutionally protected, but now this police officer gets to go ahead and stick it to this guy because, you know, that's what they'd want to do. Yeah. You know they would. You know a police officer doesn't want you standing in front of where he is with a sign saying speed trap ahead. Yeah, and it's so easy, especially when you're an individual, or even if it's just two of you, you know, for, for police to just, I mean, they, they you know, they feel that uh, that confidence of the strength in numbers uh, as to where if, you know, you're in a place like New Hampshire where there's a community of people prepared to do this stuff, you know. And, or at and, least and, to support you. And, with, and support um, you, with yeah. maybe advice or legal help or whatever, you know, backing you up, being there with you or something like that. Yeah, I mean, the individual is everything, no doubt. But I think there's a lot of strength to be had from having community, uh, like-minded community around you. And even um, there, there are plenty of sort of radical outside-the-system activists here in New Hampshire that think that it is 
foolhardy to do that kind of activism outside of New Hampshire. What you have here is you have people who are doing it together. You have cameras on the situation because if this police officer caught him at the door, which he did, and decided to bust the teeth out of his mouth. Exactly what, and then the police officer said he tried to escape or whatever it was yeah. that he tried to, exactly what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm this really This police glad, officer didn't do that. I'm really glad Brian didn't get hurt in this because there is a risk. Like you're taking a physical risk by kind of interacting with the cops in this way. And not that you are, you're, you're asking for it in any way or that it's your fault in any way, but there is always the risk that anytime you have an interaction with the police, it could turn violent because that is pretty much their their main tactic, you know, that's what they do. So um, I'm glad you stayed safe out there, Brian. If you want to tell Ian about that story, I'm sure he would love to hear it, and he'd probably pitch you on trying to move to New Hampshire. Indeed. <laughs> I'm going to pitch you. Go to freestateproject.org and sign up now. Indeed. That's why we're here in New Hampshire. Although that kind of activism is not our style like on this show we don't participate in that kind of activism but i certainly think it's interesting to hear about and i certainly would be grateful if there was someone warning me about a speed trap for sure so anyway let's go to skype where jared is on the line hey jared you're on free talk live hey stephanie brian hey the last monday show um yeah you know i was thinking about it and you know I've always thought Free Talk Live is a critical thinking show. I think that's the most important thing about it. We do our best. A, well, and that's really, I think, the most important goal because the two things that I feel that most people lack in the world is empathy and critical thinking. Yeah, and, I think I tend to agree with yeah, that. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> Those are good things to have. I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I agree completely. The world would be a much better place if more if more people had it. But the thing that I've always found interested about the Sunday show, that I've always found really fascinating about the Sunday show was – at first, I was not put onto it. I was like, ah, eh, this is okay, but I'll listen. It's not that I always agree with a different take that you guys have on Sunday, because sometimes I don't. But it at least gets you to think about things in a different way, even if it's just about how human beings act or technology or other things. It's just something to add to it, and I think that it's great, and I hope the Sunday show still manages to be somehow different. Because when you have people who are just all cut from the same cloth and it's the same thing, it's not that they're bad, but it's just the same thing. And different messages, uh, they'll, they will resonate with people differently. So I think the more that people can get these ideas out there and get people to think critically about this stuff, the better the odds are of you reaching more people. So, you know, that being said, with you guys leaving, I hope uh, – Ian doesn't crash and burn on Sundays. Because, <laughs> Mark, if you ever leave, the show's done. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. There'd be, the there'd be no one here to do it, barely. But, Jared, th uh, for, first of all, I want to just say thank you in all seriousness. I really appreciate you um, saying that. It means a lot to me that you acknowledge that we have this different perspective that, yeah, maybe not everybody agrees with it, but at least gets you to think. That's the whole point, right? That's what we were going yep. for. Yeah, I, I appreciate that as well, Jared. Thank you so much. Uh, and it, it really reminds me of the fact that, I mean, this is a problem I think that's happening today is that people really, I, I think for the, I know this is always said in every generation where people have stopped thinking or they've stopped thinking critically, but I think it's actually suddenly becoming true because the way people get their information. <laughs> it's really true. Okay. No, it really is because the way people are getting their information is through a algorithm. OK, and this algorithm isn't tailored to the society. It's tailored to the individual. And so all you're going to get is news that thinks like you think, you know, or, or whatever. You're never going to get these opposing views that actually allow you to grow. OK, on Facebook or whatever. And then it gets to the point where, I mean, like Facebook literally changes, almost, you know, for some people, it's behavior control. You know, <laughs> I mean, we, we've seen those studies. Yeah, okay. we're going to make you sad this, sad this week. <laughs> yeah. So that's one of the beauties of radio, of podcasting, whatever. There's no algorithms. You know, you I vote Brent Vinat needs to come back Sundays then. Brett, he definitely well, gets you to think differently. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. Brett, Brett's, yeah, Brett's got a lot of yeah. great stuff to say. He lives kind of far away, though. I mean, he, uh, he he's can moved. Skype into the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So anything else on your mind tonight, Jared? Nope. I just hope the Sunday show goes pretty good. I'm sure it'll be fine, but I just definitely appreciated the different perspective, even though I didn't always agree with it. And there's still a lot of things I'm like, nah, I think you guys are off base on some things, but I still think <laughs> We're it's, a little it's off great base. for the show. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Oh, well. Cheers, Jared. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jared. I really appreciate you calling in tonight and have a great evening. That was really nice. I appreciated that. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk now with Dan listening in Des Moines. A lot of callers from Des Moines tonight. Hey, Dan, you're on you free talk. You must be on live there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan, you're hey, on free talk yeah, live. I heard there was a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, a lot of callers from Des Moines tonight. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that is. Uh, I'm unfortunately I'm a late comer to the you know Sunday night show, but uh, uh, that's I'm okay. Sorry Welcome, that I'm going to be missing you all. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, but if you want to, if you ever want to catch up on all the Sunday episodes. They are at archives.freetalklive.com. Actually, all every single show uh, that's produced seven nights a week is there at archives.freetalklive.com. And there's like thousands of hours of content. Um, I think at some point I'm going, I actually have in my own personal collection, a archive of pretty much every podcast or piece of audio that I've ever done and that I've ever produced. And at some day I'm going to publish them all in one place on a personal website and make it available. I just don't have it yet. It's only on my computer. So Dan, I know you had something you wanted to talk about. So hold the line if you would. This is Free Talk Live. We still have to also get to these kill switches in cars for uh, people with bad oh credit. I really want to talk about that. But if you have thoughts, of course, 855-450-FREE is the number here on Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. On Facebook, on the news, and in conversations with friends, we're bombarded every day with advice on how to be healthier, from gluten-free and non-GMO diets to how much exercise and sleep the body needs. But how much have you heard about alkalizing the body? AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are a holistic and natural way to get your body's pH levels back in balance. Just a few drops in water will help your body rid itself of harmful waste. And even the healthiest of diets can be complemented with your daily use of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Who isn't looking for more vibrance, vigor, and energy? Now buy two bottles of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops and get $10 off your order. Visit AlkaVision.com or call 800-518-7615. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds. Open the door to greater health, vitality, and zest for life. Alkalize your body, supercharge your health. Call 800-518-7615 or head to AlkaVision.com. Free Talk Live. The idea that politicians are leaders. Check your premises on that one. Cutting proof. Really? <laughs> Would you really follow Barack Obama or George Bush? Would you really follow their every command? Would you follow their suggestions? Do you believe that politicians are somehow more knowledgeable than you are? That politicians are of a special group of people? They're a special little critter that uh, for some reason is uh, more I enlightened or educated? Constantly you can hear talking heads refer to the authorities or our leaders in Washington, and it's just, it's just patently absurd. I mean, these people are failures at life. That's why they became politicians. Right. Uh, I mean, you know, there's so many of them are attorneys. Uh, <laughs> the good attorneys make, make a money. whole bunch of money and retire with yachts. Uh, the, the unsuccessful ones go into politics. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or... 
go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Sunday night edition with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. You know, I forgot to mention a little earlier that uh, there is another way that you can keep in touch with me after um, I move on from the Sunday show, which I am going to be doing after this week. Uh, I am on a show called Let's Talk Bitcoin, and it's a twice weekly podcast all about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. So if that's your thing or you just want to learn more about Bitcoin, you can uh, hear me twice a week on that podcast at Let's Talk Bitcoin dot com. Just wanted to let everybody know about that. Let's go back to the phones where Dan is on the line in Des Moines. And hi, Dan, you were just starting to get into what you wanted to talk about tonight. Why don't you go ahead with your thoughts? Well, there was a couple things that, uh, uh, first off, I was following up on, I think it was Brian that uh, got in trouble for saying there was a speed trap ahead. Oh, the caller, Brian. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. And what I was fascinated by that was the fact on our morning radio here, is that they list where all the speed cameras are. They tell everybody where they are. Do the locations and of so those why, change? Yeah, they change every day. Huh. And so on morning radio, they tell us where those speed cameras are. There ought to be and an I'm app going, for that, so, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you can. You just go on the uh, Internet and they show where they are all. Uh, every day, mm-hmm. and uh, but I'm going okay. So why isn't the radio station, you know, getting you know cracked down like Brian did? You know, <laughs> well because the radio yeah. station uh, really, when it comes down to this, is about numbers. The police officer knew yep. that he uh, had more power than this kid who is one guy. But if he, if this kid had been with like five other people. I don't think this police officer would have bothered him. He would have said, ah, this isn't worth the trouble. And he'd gone off some other place to have a speed trap. Yeah, exactly. And so he just didn't like, uh, you know, being, you know, pressed around or somebody messing with his business. It's like the cameras and stuff, people videotaping and stuff like that. And that brought me back to the other thing with the interference. Uh, You know, they just don't like anybody around. Um, You know, it's kind of a short story, but a bad story. I got busted for interference also. Mm-hmm. Um, I had went uh, to a bar after a, a football game okay, and with my brother, and we decided to go, you know, outside and have a smoke. Well, I will tell you, it was stupid, but we took our drinks with us. And so I had, you know, the truck parked outside, and I, we took our drinks and started smoking. And then I walked off because I saw police on you know, uh, on, on horses. And then I came back and I saw my brother being arrested. Wow. And, Just for having yeah. a drink outside of the bar? That's the way the law is in Iowa because public intoxication oh in Iowa is either being intoxicated, but if you actually got a drink outside, it's the same law. God forbid children see someone consuming an alcoholic (laughs) beverage, even if they're acting responsibly. I mean, like, what kind of law? It's not like the bars have windows. (laughs) Yeah, it's so silly. Yeah, and four feet across is their outside patio. If we'd been in there, we'd have been fine. So I just stepped up and asked, you know, what's happened with my brother? And the officer says, step back. And I I wasn't within three feet. You know, I just said, what are you arresting my brother for? That makes perfect and sense so, that you would ask that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the cuffs were immediately on me too. Wow. So you so that's how you so, got arrested for interference was asking, "Hey, what's going on with my brother indeed. who's in handcuffs?" Jeez, what a story, exactly. Don. Dan, I'm sorry. Um that's <laughs> that's incredible. I'm really sorry to hear that happened. Yeah, they finally dismissed that one, but I mean it was just But still I, you led to lose your time. Go. Yeah, you had to uh, you had to deal with something. Even if they ultimately dropped it in the end, you still lost your time and a little bit of dignity. I would yeah, probably well, say. Yeah, yeah, six hours in the little tiny cell and everything. So, 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Gosh, sorry to yes, hear that. Thanks this, for sharing that story tonight, Dan. Thank you for calling in. This is a tactic well known among police, which is that you might beat the charge, but you can't beat the ride. And this is the terminology. Yeah. The ride is that, look, we're going to take you to jail and we're going to fingerprint you and we're going to treat you in a f- fashion that you would prefer not to be treated. And we're going to waste your time because, look, I got to be here another six hours. So you might as well have to be with me another six hours. I've got to do something. And at this point, you have emotionally attached me to messing with you enough that I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And that's what it comes down to. Now, is every police officer going to do this? No. Some are going to conduct themselves in a professional fashion, and you're not going to hear about those guys. But I can tell you that those guys are not going to chasten or scold the ones that do do that kind of thing, mm-hmm. because that would make them unpopular. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of the difficulty that we're dealing with with uh, American law enforcement and why we have to have people with enough uh, intestinal fortitude to stand up and say, I'm recording what you're doing, because they need to be used to it. They need to be on camera all the time, and that uh, video footage needs to be available to the public on demand. The attitude uh, it kind of creeps into other aspects of people's lives, too. I think it's like when when silly little things such as walking across an imaginary line with a beer in your hand become illegal, people start to get afraid to just do anything. I mean, like Brian and I went to a concert. Uh, Brian, the host on Free Talk Live tonight, yeah. went, went to a concert last week. It was Motley Crue. It was a rock concert. You know, it's very rebellious music. But there were police everywhere. There were ushers everywhere. And people were just afraid. They were so cowed. It was the lamest concert ever, even though the performance is great, was great. Uh, but people were just, like, afraid to get into the music. Oh, they yeah. were afraid to walk into the aisles because they would get, like, shooed back into their seats. Uh, they were afraid to move around. It was just, like, it, people are just so scared. And I don't blame them because it's a police state, a genuine police state. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and equally... You know, I was there enjoying the show, okay, you know, because I'm a huge Motley Crue fan, and Alice Cooper was there, too. I know all the songs, and so, you know, I'm singing along, rocking out to it, and I'm not drunk. I don't, you know, I'm a, I'm a total teetotaler, uh, and, but I had, yeah, one security guy wouldn't, you know, go five feet from me, because here I am he actually, you. You I'm actually rocking out individual. to the show. It's like, wait a minute, this guy's having a good time. We got to do something yeah. about this. You're you actually know? expressing yourself. Like it's the yourself. opera. You yeah. know, you're supposed to sit in your seat and, yeah. <laughs> and wait until the, uh, the intermissions to clap. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed <laughs> to just passively sit there and watch the concert without interacting and, in any and, way. It's like, no, people want people have things that they want to express. I mean, where's the heart and passion in this? It's a rock concert for God's sake. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, something else I want to bring up because maybe this was just a bad case of, of where we were, but they were patting people down going into yeah. the into the concert. Worse than and the I have I have a tactical pen. Not a fan of guns, not a fan of a whole lot of things that are designed for lethal means. Okay, but I understand self-defense, and you know I have a, I had a, a, a tactical pen, and this pen, the guy looks at it. You know, it's made of aircraft aluminum and all that. It's designed to break glass if necessary, and. He's like, oh, no, no, you can't have this. They're going to take it to your car or throw it down. I'm like, it's a pen. I'll just throw it out. I'd like to note that I have the exact same pen, and I have brought it through the TSA over a dozen times and never had a problem with it. it. It's it's getting crazy, and the arbitrariness of everything is nuts, be it crossing imaginary lines or whatever. I personally think we're going to have to get off this planet, but what do you think? 855, 450 free. Let's go to Skype where Daniel in Mexico is on the line. Hey, Daniel, you're in Mexico? I am. Cool. Where in Mexico? I'm ca- curious about that. I am uh, a bit south of Tijuana. Cool. How do you like it there? I like it a lot. Uh, in fact, if uh, this is a different subject than I wanted to bring up, but w- with the uh, traffic light things mm-hmm. here, at least where I am in Mexico, when the light's about to change, the green light will flash for about three or four seconds first. Mm-hmm. Then it goes yellow for about three seconds, then red. So it's like a warning and then a warning and... This is yep. the pre-warning and the actual warning and then the red. <laughs> yep. That makes sense, yep. And it works really well. The other thing, uh, about at least where I am, is uh, the traffic cops don't enforce anything. The only thing the traffic cops do is if you get in an accident, then they're going to come down on you like a ton of bricks. But otherwise, they just leave people alone. Huh. So stop signs here are actually treated as yield signs. Yeah. And you would be amazed at how efficiently traffic flows because of that. Yeah, that's yeah, this really is, interesting. A little more trust for the drivers. This has yeah. been shown in other countries, particularly in Europe, where they're getting rid of a lot of, you know, more advanced, we'll say, uh, you know, traffic signals. And driving is actually safer. 
and more efficient because of it. It is. Yeah, it's just a little bit more like trusting that the driver can make the right decisions for them, too. You know, that's that's a big thing with us. I think a lot of people who are into liberty maybe feel like we don't get a lot of trust from society. We're constantly being like micromanaged and not um, trusted to exercise our own decision making capabilities, you know? Yes, it is. And uh, along with that, um, because it's treated as a yield sign, people actually pay attention at intersections because right. they know they have to watch the other drivers and see what they're doing. Mm. Yeah, and that, so people that. just pay attention. Also, speed limits are just merely suggestions here. Yeah, it's amazing <laughs> when you give people responsibility. Amazingly, they actually take it and they do well. They, they do. When you treat them like they can handle the responsibility, they yeah. can handle it. Surprise, surprise. But the da- subject I want to bring up yeah, was Daniel, the Silk Road. I would love to talk with you about that. Hold the line. Hold that thought if you wouldn't mind, because I know you did want to talk about the Silk Road. And I'm curious to hear what you have to say. And if you've got something to say, 855-450-FREE here on Free Talk Live. We've still got to talk about these uh, kill switches in cars, too. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. The event you've been waiting for is here. Lumber Liquidators, third annual fall flooring yard sale. It's your chance to get first quality, full warranty, direct from the mill flooring at unbelievable closeout prices. Like oak laminate for an incredible 19 cents a square foot and pre-finished three-quarter inch solid maple for just $149. Plus beautiful bamboo for 63% less than other stores. Take advantage of our 20 years of savings with 20-month special financing and get even more unheard of flooring deals in our stores. Fall flooring yard sale is Thursday through Monday only. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 6, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,144, silver $15.39, and Bitcoin is trading around $338. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat brought to you by our newest sponsor, eFoods Direct. Redefining the way you think about storable food. Easy to make and great tasting with a shelf life of over 25 years. To celebrate our new partnership, eFoods Direct is offering Liberty Beat listeners 10% off their purchases. To take advantage of this exciting offer, call 800-620-5520 and mention coupon code LIBERTYBEAT. To learn more or to buy online, visit eFoodsDirect.com. In the news, on Wednesday, thousands of protesters around the world took part in the Million Mask March, with demonstrators in Washington, D.C. and London challenging the police head-on. London police arrested 10 people after protesters clashed with police officers and allegedly committed assault. At one point, the protesters grabbed metal barriers, which separated police from the activists. In Washington, D.C., protesters also wrestled with police over metal barriers. The mass protesters in the nation's capital verbally challenged the police and called for an end to government corruption. 
The BBC reports Egypt's policies toward protesting citizens are under review by the Human Rights Council of the U.S.-funded United Nations. Since 2011, revolution has rocked Egypt and caused major upheaval following the ouster of longtime President Hosni Mubarak. After democratically elected Mohamed Morzai was removed by a military coup last year, military ruler President Assisi has been heavily criticized by U.S. and European nations for perpetrating violence against innocent protesters exercising political speech. However, the United States continues to work with Assisi, as during the reign of Mubarak, the United States sends Egypt roughly $3 billion in foreign aid each year. Over 2,000 people have died in the conflict in Egypt. On Tuesday, Hawaiian voters decided to ban the growing of genetically modified crops. The new measure creates a temporary moratorium on GM crops until further health and environmental studies are completed. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support also comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries. Homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 6, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. And like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. On Wednesday, President Barack Obama said he would work with Congress on new war powers to fight Islamic State militants and express cautious optimism about whether the international face-off over Iran's nuclear program will be resolved. Two issues that could prove harder for the White House to maneuver with Republicans in charge on Capitol Hill. The Associated Press reports that Obama spoke at a news conference the day after his party was thrashed by Republicans in elections, leaving the Republicans soon to be in charge of both the House and the Senate. Obama's decision will test the ability of the divided Congress to agree on a war strategy for Iraq and Syria. A St. Louis circuit judge has ruled Missouri's ban on same-sex marriages as unconstitutional. Judge Rex Burleson called the freedom to marry a fundamental right deeply rooted in the history of the United States. The news comes a day after a federal judge ruled a similar ban in Kansas was in violation of the Constitution. On Monday, a district judge threw out an alleged 1993 confession from Daniel Villegas, the Texas man who spent 19 years behind bars for a murder he did not commit. The district judge stated that the confession could not be used as evidence in an upcoming retrial because it was coerced by police. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 6, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A report released Tuesday by physicists at Stanford University revealed that the entire known universe, from the whole of human civilization to the totality of matter and energy, is actually the fictional setting of a cop show called Hard Case. According to authors of the report, existence as we know it was created solely to provide the framework for the primetime drama that airs weekly in a parallel universe, and that every historical event prior to the show's September 2008 pilot, including the Renaissance, World War II, Evolution, the September 11th attacks, and the presidential administration, of Washington through Clinton never actually happened and are merely part of the elaborate backstory crafted by hard case creator and showrunner Dominic Egan. We used to believe that our universe operated under immutable laws of thermodynamics and gravitational relativity, but now we know everything just comes from the minds of hard cases 12 staff writers. Overall, it seems like a very well-written show. Physicists have theorized that the universe as we know it will cease to exist whenever hard case airs its final episode. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. I can't believe it, but it's the third hour of tonight's program. Sliding by. It's really going fast. 
This is, in case you're just joining us and you haven't heard the news, this is Brian's and my last show on the Sunday show. Yes, it's true. We've had so much fun doing the show for the last uh, over three years. And uh, now we're moving on and Mark is going to be doing the Sunday show with Ian. So I think it's going to be great. Thank you so much all to all those who have listened uh, to the Sunday show with us on it because you are really what makes it so enjoyable for us. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thanks so much. And, of course, at Free Talk Live, we've got social media accounts. We've got a mailing list. You can go to freetalklive.com, and, actually news.freetalklive.com, and find Free Talk Live's Facebook page, Twitter, and email list in case you want to keep up to date with what's going on on the show. Uh, Free Talk Live actually has a, quite a popular Facebook page where there are lots of Liberty memes that are shared. So go yeah, ahead. Yeah, a lot of action. Go ahead and connect with us there, and you'll also see like live updates of kind of stories that we're talking about on the air, too. Uh, but speaking of the internet uh <laughs> we're going to go back to daniel in mexico because i know he wants to talk about tour but if you have something on your mind free talk live is a show where you can call about anything that's on your mind you can call us at 855-450-3733 that's 855-450-FREE the pro xpn toll free call in lines 855-450-3733 okay let's go back to daniel in mexico hey daniel you're back on the air Hey, Stephanie. Uh, what I wanted to bring up about Tor is that uh, more in the line of how they possibly did the investigation into finding the Silk Road server. Mm, yeah. Now, now, we know that from the beginning, one of the moderators or helpers, if you want to call them, for the Silk Road 2 was an undercover agent. That's in the court filing. Right. Right. And actually, if, yeah. if if you're just joining us on the radio and you're not familiar, the Silk Road was an online drug marketplace that was found that was on the dark web. Uh, it's kind of like eBay. And to some extent, it made the acquiring of drugs safer and um, in, in several ways. It oh, wasn't... and that was proven by a study, actually, yeah. that it did reduce the violence in the drug trade. Um, but it was, of course, illegal. It got shut down about a little over a year ago. And another one quickly kind of sprung up to replace it called the Silk Road 2. And that was just recently busted a couple of days ago. So that's what you're referring to, right, Daniel? That is correct. And uh, along with it springing up a little bit later, uh, interestingly enough, the Silk Road 2 was taken down on its one-year anniversary. Hmm. So that, hmm. the that's timing interesting. Is, yeah, well, it I'm, is interesting. because sure the, that the timing is purposeful. Yeah, because the one. guy that they apparently found the server through or that, you know, that they're alleging is, uh, you know, the new DPR or whatever. What is it? Barrett something? I don't know. I, I can't recall his name. name. Anyway, Blake Benthal. Yeah, Blenthal. That's it. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Blake Benthal. <laughs> Blake Benthal. Not <laughs> yeah. yeah, Blake Benthal. He totally conflated so. <laughs> his name. Um, but anyway, I mean, they were, as I understand it, they they've been tracking him since like April of this year. Uh, well, what are they doing? All these people are buying drugs in the meantime. Are they just letting these crimes happen? Aren't they supposed to crack down as soon as they know? It's a really good point. If the FBI is here to keep us safe and drugs are dangerous, then why in the hell did they wait a year to to, to keep us safe? I mean, that's disgusting. They're just letting the piles the the charges pile up. Oh, I, I guarantee you that that uh Benthol was under investigation. Uh, possibly as soon as January, but right. definitely later in the year. Because this guy, here, here's how smart he was. He decided to drop a $70,000 down payment on a Tesla Roadster <laughs> using Bitcoin. What yeah. could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> and he was in the United States. This is the, the, the Dread yes. Private Roberts. The, the thing that I kept saying about this, uh, if, if Ross Ulbricht is, in fact, the Dread Private Roberts, I'm I, I kind of of the opinion he deserves to be caught because he's in the United States. Look, if you're going to run something like this, you do not want to be in the U.S. Frankly, you don't want to be in Canada either. You want to be running this from someplace where they they have very bad policing organizations that have very little extradition or uh, or uh, agreements with the United States. Or at least, if you're in the U.S. Drive a Honda Civic, okay? I mean, for crying out loud. Yeah, that's kind of sounds like the mark of someone who either believes that he can't get caught or... It's I easy to believe that. I mean, oh, why would you do Stephanie, that? It gets even better with this guy. Yeah, go ahead. He, in, in a, in a one-year time period, because realize this marketplace was only up for one year. Mm -hmm. So in that time period, he cashed out over $270,000 in Bitcoin through a U.S. exchange, which, as we all know, has know your customer laws. Yeah. Man, 
Wow. So so he had two hundred and seventy over two hundred and seventy thousand dollars hit his personal bank account. Wow. So it, it wouldn't matter if they had tracked down the Silk Road or not, he was going to jail. Because yeah. I, I guarantee you the IRS was going to get around to him within the next year or two. Yeah, I mean, and he's using Chrome. And there's and, just no question about that. Yeah, it was ridiculous who's using Google Chrome. I mean, it, it's a known fact. Anything that gets typed into the Omni bar, this is, Google, make sure you're aware of this. Anything that gets typed into the, typed into the address bar or the Omni bar is getting recorded. There's no oh. privacy there whatsoever to be had unless you're using like disconnect search or something. I mean, there's just, but that's search. That's not even typing in stuff. Uh, it, it it was some of this guy has some of the most amateur moves I've ever seen in my life. Oh yes, absolutely. His his operational security. Well, I, I don't think it existed because it, it's pretty clear that he connected from his home address directly to the server at multiple times, creating links there. Also, he connected using his MacBook on Chrome. Now, if you're somebody who's actually concerned, you're not going to do that because, number one, uh, if you're using Chrome, I know for a fact you're not using Tor because it's not set up for Tor. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even and, get it to work. I've tried getting Chrome to work through, like, a pass-through unless you're using, like, there's there's Chrome routers out there that will allow everything you do to, to access uh, you know, no matter what you're using, it's going to go through Tor. Uh, but even then, I think Chrome has some trouble because I tried doing it as a pass through once and it doesn't work. You know, this guy doesn't just sound dumb. He sounds like a government agent. Well, he's I was right. just going to say that. He believed that like... he had some kind of protection. Yep. Yeah, he possibly did, but it just all it is, it's just amateur hour. And and really, we need to thank the federal government because all they've done is they have culled the weak from the herd. Well, there's probably already <laughs> more. Um, there's probably already more online oh, yeah, marketplaces. There, there is Silk Road 3.0 was up within 12 hours. Wow. Yeah, it's like a hydra. We'll cut off one head, and two more yeah. are going to grow. Yeah. I mean, the war on drugs. Like, <laughs> I saw a quote somewhere. I can't remember who said it, but um, something like. The war on drugs is a failure. The people on drugs are winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and there's a lot of, you know, with this, <laughs> there's a lot of things. I mean, with this block, with blockchain technology, there's a lot of ways you can go. And maybe Bitcoin's just getting too hot, you know, already. And uh, what is it? Uh, NXTfreemarket.com. You can use NXT. And like, and there, is there is an a genuine decentralized, right. It's an alternate currency, uh, y you know, a genuinely decentralized 100%, you know, market that you can work within. And that, so if, if, you know, if uh, Bitcoin's too much, well, you know, or if it's being watched too hard, you can go over here and it's easy enough to exchange Bitcoin for NXT. If you've ever seen the videos of the, um, you know, the, the prototype airplanes before the Wright brothers managed to get off the ground or even the ones afterwards after trying to replicate it, you'll see a lot of failures. You see a lot of like catastrophes going on. And the same with uh, with space flight you see a lot of rockets go up and go boom before they sometimes they don't even go up they just go boom and that's how it's going to be with these online drug marketplaces now i can take a very cavalier attitude because i've never bought anything off of them i don't have any demand for them the only thing that uh, you know that i think about them is is that they make my life marginally safer because they're going to drive down the costs of drugs to some extent and therefore people are less likely to break into my house and steal my stuff over the money that they they need to, uh, to to do this stuff. Yeah, and for people who are using drugs, I mean, what's safer, getting drugs in the mail in a package or going to a dark alley somewhere? Right? Like, I don't use them either. I've never even used Tor, actually. <laughs> but I mean, but but still, like, I'm grateful that these things are out there because I don't think that drugs should be illegal. I don't think that there should be all this money and violence and resources spent on putting people in jail because they want to put plants and chemicals in their body. It's just so silly. And uh, Daniel, thank you for calling in tonight. I appreciate this discussion. Well, thank you, <laughs> this is Free Talk Live, 855-450. Free is our number, 855-450-3733. Silk Road, kill switches and cars. What do you want to talk about? This is Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. More coming up. Hi, everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. 
Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. So if you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24 7 to help you we also have other pain relieving braces too for your shoulder ankle or back you may be eligible to get these items and more at little or no out-of-pocket cost our friendly representatives are standing by now to help you so please call now 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. 855-450-FREE is our number here on Free Talk Live. That's 855 450 3733 the Pro XPN toll-free call-in lines. Or you can call us on Skype at LRN.FM. Perhaps you're in Mexico, like our last caller, Daniel. Um, Skype is a great way to make international phone calls or just make a call into the show that sounds really great in terms of the audio quality. I saw silver at less than... Sixteen dollars. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. right now. What is up with silver? I don't, I don't know. I don't what know. What is up with I'm all commodities? It, I just have to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, stocks are going up, and that ten, or you know, the the mm-hmm. strength of the dollar as com- in compared to the other crappy fiat currencies around the world. Is yeah, increasing. if you're long on the dollar, it's you're doing great. <laughs> and so that tends to drive down the cost of metals. 
I have a difficult time imagining that uh, that silver has is at an equilibrium at fifteen dollars or fifteen something dollars an ounce. I tend to think that silver is going to go upwards, and I may not be smart in the area of investing investments, but I do tend to be lucky. So, um, <laughs> you know, if you want to do as I have done and buy some silver, you can do it through gold.freetalklive.com. You could also do it through silver.freetalklive.com if that somehow makes you feel better. It will, however, take you to the same page. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go there and uh, Midas Resources, with whom we have uh, partnered, they are uh, the, a sister company to GCN, our syndicate. So they will help you out there. And I've been buying metals from them for years. And you can be confident and that, that they will take care of you. If you need a telephone number, I can give you that telephone number. Now, this telephone number, you should not call to get on Free Talk Live. This is a telephone number you call in order to get some gold or silver. The number is 877-857-9938. 877-857-9938. So there you go. All right, cool. You know, we were talking off the air uh, during the last break yeah. about uh, Brian go ahead if, if Well, you I was going to say, I mean, this you know, talking about gold and silver and then like the last caller was talking about Bitcoin, you know, and I brought up NXT. I mean, these alter- all these alternative currencies, and what I mean by that is currencies that are not per se government issue. Okay, uh, are so important. And I don't think people realize because and it kind of got described by you as well, Stephanie, in the last segment. You had said that, well, you know, the Silk Road didn't mean a whole lot to me. Mark said the same thing and certainly doesn't mean a whole lot to me either as far as what it generally offers. But I mean, the future is coming where and the reason that these people, you know, that the government wants to shut down things like the Silk Road is because you can't have a marketplace going on where you're selling stuff that doesn't go by their purview. You know, that doesn't go by the government's, you know, that doesn't pass the government's purview. Uh, They don't want that at all. And so, I mean, I think really that the time is genuinely coming where like you might if you want your raw milk. I mean, we're already seeing how the law is cracking down on that. You know, you're going to have to use a silk road to get some milk. You're going to have to get on tour to do that. I think that's the milk road, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, the point stands. I mean, it's really true. You the said, milk road. You said there were... Um, uh, banned books for sale on the Silk Road. Yeah, I've gotten banned books off of there. So, but I mean, you cri- I, you're a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think people realize just how far this can go. In fact, you know what? There's a great uh, there's a great movie getting produced. Um, I, I think they're doing an Indiegogo campaign, and it's called Introduce Neils, and it's by this great hacktivist rapper YT Cracker, and actually Jason King, who we all love on this show, uh, is is behind it too. But it's called Introducing Neils. There's an album, and they're making a movie about it, and it really it shows the possibility of how far the this can go and the importance of you being literate in the use of these technologies, you know, and I think that's really important for people to do. Uh, I, I mean, because, yeah, OK, it doesn't mean anything to you now. Well, in five years, it might mean a whole hell of a lot. Yeah. I mean, when is your favorite thing going to become criminalized? That's yeah. always the next question. It's like the Pastor Martin Niemel Muller poem about how first they came for the communists and I wasn't one, so I didn't stand up for them. Then they came for the trade unionists and I wasn't one, so I didn't stand up. And then by the time they came for me, there was no one left to stand up for me because everybody had been taken to the gulag. I'm pretty and, sure the Jews were in there somewhere, but yeah. Yeah, and it's it's really true. So, uh, I mean, yeah, the Silk Road didn't mean a lot to me personally because I wasn't a patron, but I do see the value in in having something like that. And I see the value in... Just, you know, not treating people putting chemicals and plants in their body as a criminal act. Perhaps in some cases it's a medical problem. Um, In some cases it's just recreation, right? Like we would drink tea or coffee or beer or wine or whatever. Sure. Um, and in some cases, it's it's a medicine that people need in the case of medicinal marijuana, which isn't available everywhere. But, the, you know, the tide is turning on that. I think, like, public opinion is getting to the point, especially among younger people, like, they know they're not under any illusions. They know that um, the government lies to you about drugs and har- how harmful they are. You know, they, they've been to dare class. Yeah. They know that the whole reefer madness thing is bunk, that pot is actually not very harmful as as drugs go you know that alcohol actually is probably more dangerous in terms of overall side effects and potential effects that it can have on your your body and they they know that they've been lied to and they feel resentful about that and as you're starting to see the laws finally follow suit in public opinion where um, recreational and medical marijuana are becoming legal in more states in the u.s and that seems like it's a tidal wave that's already happening and that's just going to keep on Happening. So the question is, you know, <laughs> what's going to happen 
uh, when it, I mean, when is it going to finally break, right? Like when is it going to break in your area? And I always wonder like what happens when a law like that has been passed, like in Colorado, after they passed that law that legalized recreational pot, what happened between the time that the the ballot measure was approved and the time that it went into effect. Like there must've been like two or three months where well, there was like, in this- that case um, with uh, Washington and Colorado, basically the vote went through and then the cops just start, stopped enforcing the laws. Yeah. And if, so that's really interesting because if they stopped enforcing the laws, as soon as it went through, that just shows that it's not actually the law. It's like what people think they're that, agreed. They're, that they're going by. So, if people think that these should, things should not be criminalized, then why are the cops still enforcing the laws? Well, it's kind of, uh, I mean, it's so it's perception to some extent, and police understand that they're paid by uh, for enforcing these things, and they, they get money, the, the criminal justice system, by which they're you know, paid. Well, there's some perverse incentives there, too, because there there's the civil are. asset forfeiture laws where they can take people's money, cars, houses, uh, unlimited stuff, Without really even uh, charging someone with a crime if they suspect that money is involved in a, a drug deal. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason the police department should be getting any money from the seizures that they make. That's ridiculous. If somebody needs property seized from them for whatever reason, it should be done by a court, for one. <laughs> and secondly, the agency that seizes it shouldn't get the benefit. Give it to a charity if you want it to, you know, crush it. Do whatever it is you want to do. But don't let that agency benefit from it because then you just legalize theft. Yeah, and you're creating an incentive for theft, I mean, in a really serious way. And we have seen a lot of examples of that uh, throughout uh, recent history in the United States, where police departments will seize houses from, uh, you know, like a renter's oh, it got seems drugs. Like and there's a story like that every week on Free Talk Live. Yeah. Uh, we just talked about that lady last week who had that cash seized from her bank account because she was depositing it in less than $10,000 increments from her Mexican right. restaurant. She was trying to save the government time and trouble yeah. because That's what she, she didn't got want for her kindness <laughs> yeah that way she didn't fill out their you know paperwork or whatever all right really want to talk about this kill switches and cars <laughs> thing brian and i think we will get to that next unless you have something to say at 855-450-3733 855-450-free here on the sunday show only a few moments remain before the end of Brian's and my last show ever. So 855-450 free if you want to talk to us tonight. More coming up on the Sunday show. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. This winter, next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel can be safely stored with your other supplies for many years and works in any gas-powered vehicle or backup generator. With the bitterly cold temperatures predicted for this winter, now is the best time to stock up on spare fuel. So go to GetSpareFuel.com. That's GetSpareFuel.com. GetSpareFuel.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in Creative Commons. 
This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash your family today. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp freetalklive.com You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm That's forum.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show. Me, Stephanie, here with you. And Brian. And Mark. 855-450-FREE here on Free Talk Live. That's our phone number, the Pro XPN toll-free call-in lines, 855-450-3733. I promised we were going to get into this Kill Switches in Cars article. So let's let's get into it, Brian, shall we? Sure. Uh, and it's important. This is from Alternet, okay? And it's important to, to mention, like, when I saw this story, uh, I was like, wow, you know, this, this is crazy. And the, the the headline is lenders can now disable your car when you're driving on the freeway. That was not the headline on November 7th. Okay, what was the headline? The headline was Wall Street can now disable your car when you're driving on the freeway. So make no mistake, this headline is designed to be, you know, a liberal grab. You know what I mean? A, a, you know, a BuzzFeed click or whatever. Uh, it's clickbait. <laughs> it's clickbait, right. And so, you know, I want to make sure that, that that's understood. Um, but even so, I, my own opinion, I want to get into the story, but my own opinion is that the whole lender thing, Wall Street, whatever, is not the importance of the story. But, uh, but here, I'll go on. Imagine this scenario. You're on an important trip miles from home and stopped in traffic. But before you can continue on your way, your car shuts down. You've got enough gas in the tank and no mechanical problems. But you've, you're stranded far from home because you're a few days late on your car payment and the lender won't let you drive until the debt is paid. If this sounds like part of a dystopian future uh, in which repo men are now cyborgs, it's not. It's happening in, happening today and became becoming a big part of the new automotive landscape car dealers and automotive lenders are targeting those with poor credit by installing gps based kill switches or starter interrupt devices on the cars that they sell wow you know poor credit um let's just talk about that for a minute how is the the credit system is just a terrible way of uh, measuring people's reputations. First of all, it's linked to government uh, social security numbers, which were 
you know, when the program was rolled out, they were told we were told that they would never be used as ID numbers, but they that's totally what they've become. They were certainly know. ID numbers by the time I was a kid in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Me too. Um, you know, my mom always taught me not to give out my my numbers and my personal information. And now you can't avoid it. You can't get a cell phone without doing it because yeah. they do a credit check on you. Uh, those numbers can be stolen. Uh, and there's it's very difficult if you, if it does get stolen and someone take opens credit cards in your account. How, do, how are you even supposed to know about it? You only get to check your credit score once a year for free. Uh, and, you know, they can really they can really ding you for just silly things. Like basically the way to get a good credit score is to have lots of credit cards, spend money on them and pay it off right away. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, and. It's like then it leads to the system where the only people who can get loans are the ones who don't need them. <laughs> you know, you know, this is really blasphemous. I have been informed that in an anarcho-capitalist paradise, that the credit system is one of the things that would just really work. That's yeah, what I've be, been told. That, if Can you imagine what a scary world it would be if that were the reputation rating system that all these libertarians <laughs> are salivating over? Because I, I'm interested. it just now, doesn't work. There's so many. The, the reputation ratings, for like for instance, on eBay or the Silk Road, these work better. Better. Now, I don't know what would work. You know, I mean, the, basically these uh, credit reporting agencies have a cartel and they need more competition. But, you know, I've got a. I've got to say, so I have a friend who does the buy here, pay here lot thing, okay. and he's doing his best to get by. He certainly didn't want to sell crappy cars to people who are bad at paying their bills. He just wanted to sell cars to people, and it turns out that not enough people wanted to buy cars from him, so he ended up having to basically sell credit to people in the form of crappy mm-hmm. cars they need to get to work. Mm-hmm. And these people are really bad at paying their bills like the kind of bad that you have to go and collect the money from their house bad and you know okay can you give me the three months or i'm going to take the car now and then they can somehow scrape together the money that day um you know i'm going to be there to get the car or whatever you got to threaten people to get your your money and i'm not saying that um I'm rooting for the man here, but I understand what it's like to be the man. And you're not so manny when you're the man. Um, <laughs> I, you know, my parents, uh, I, I've had rental properties. My mom had rental properties. And it, you basically have to set up a situation where people are petrified of you. And if they're not petrified of you, they're going to pay whatever bills they're petrified of, the people they're petrified of, before they pay the bills of you. Now, according to this article, there has been a significant percentage, as in I think it's like from 7 to 20 percent or something like that, uh, of an increase in the payment of bills. Like people are, this yeah. This is working. Surprise, surprise, yeah. it works. <laughs> this is working for what it is. It's working as a reign of terror, though. I mean, there is another way to get people to pay bills, and that is to develop a relationship with them. You know, I've had roommates in the past, and they they have paid their share of the expenses or whatever, or they have split the rent with me because they have a relationship with me. They're my friend. They don't want to let me down. They they know that I need to pay the bills for the whole household or whatever, so they give me their half. And so that's the other route you can go is well, just getting to know them really There are well. people that are good about paying their bills and usually those people have more money. And I'm I, like, you know, I'm not saying that people who don't have money aren't moral. It's just it's an issue of priorities. And if you don't make yourself the priority, mm-hmm. But sometimes you're, gonna, if someone you're not like, going to be the priority. Right. But sometimes if someone likes you versus if they're afraid of you, <laughs> they do make you a priority. Sometimes people will take that, uh, the, you know, the, if you like them, they'll decide you'll cut them a break and give them a loan because they need it right. till next That's week or I'm whatever. That that approach really only works if you're very discriminating about who you extend Ex- that indeed. to. That's precisely the problem here is, is that you, you want to be nice to everybody. You, you want to work with them. But, I, I, you know, if I was running a buy here, pay here lot, I'd have no problem installing this technology in my cars. Um, you know, maybe I'd turn them off at 3 a.m. rather than turning them off when uh, somebody's on the freeway or something like that. But, yeah. I'd well, turn your car off. Okay. I, I get that. Yeah, you go ahead, Brian. Well, I was going to say, I understand. I Actually, and I wouldn't mind addressing like the idea of how do you solve reputation systems. But um, Yeah, I, let's, let's go ahead and go that route if you want to. Sure. Well, I, I just want to say I get the point that this is what you do. But here's the thing. Who else has access to this ability to turn off your car? Frightening people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's very That's frightening very people it. have the ability to turn off your car. One of the things I think that people really got behind cars so much, first off, is because they weren't as stubborn as horses. Second off, is because you had absolute control. 
of that. You could fix it yourself, whatever you could do. You know, you knew that once you got on the road, you were on the road, baby, and you were going. Okay. And now, oh, forget it. You know, I mean, and and there's no, you know, some people are probably pretty happy because, well, now there won't be any more high speed chases because the cars can just, or the cops can just boop, turn off your car. Right. I imagine that's, that's coming. terrifying. And uh, by the way, Brian, I was in Washington, D.C. this week and I bebopped by the Tesla store. I happened to be walking around and uh, there was a Tesla store. So I went in. Turns out all the Teslas being made now have the hardware for self-driving. So they're going to 90% self-driving as the salesman uh, described it, which says to me interstates. Yeah, see, so you the think, self-driving car is here. Sure. So, I mean, you think you're going to go to Costa Rica because of some BS that the government got you for. No, you're not, buddy. Your car is going right to jail. Right. And so. <laughs> and, and you think, oh, oh, yeah, well, I can just hop out. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Actually, they uh, made it very easy for you with your Android Wear watch. You can now lock the doors on your Tesla. And well, who else has access to that capability? To Indeed. lock you inside of yeah. your car. What if you're going to the hospital or something? Like some of these people were saying that their cars got turned off when they were on the freeway. That's dangerous. Yeah, it's really dangerous. That could cause accidents for well, other people. And how many who are times? Completely this, unrelated. Sure. And the another thing too. I mean, granted, a million things can go wrong with a car where it's just going to stop. Okay, but we're talking about cars. You're taken off the lot. But usually, but, you at least have time to pull over. Right? Okay, right, but. You have these, you have sensors like oxygen sensors and all this stuff connected to the engine. These things regularly go bad, okay? And they cause all kinds of problems in your car, all right, that that actually aren't a problem. It's because the sensor is actually sending a false reading to the computer. Mm -hmm. What happens when your kill switch happens to go bad? And then well, you'll car, have to buy the anti-kill switch I, I, and yeah, enrich the company. If that, sells that even the works, because switches. again, these oxygen sensors aren't, or at least I would hope, that they aren't designed to go bad. But hey. You just need to buy a 76 Blazer and learn how to fix it. Absolutely. That and we need to get off this planet. Uh, what do you think? 855, 450 free. Would you want to buy a car with a kill switch in it built in that you could get turned off if you don't pay your car payment? Buy pre-96. 855, 450 free. This is Free Talk Live, the Sunday show, and there's more coming up. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Chuck Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream back pain cream at Walgreens. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, Chicken, six vegetable and black bean olive. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today. Eat them every day, take them camping, or save them for an emergency. Check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in Oregon by Oregon Trail Foods, 30dayfoodsupply.com. Following today's press conference in which NASA announced its continuing search for a planet capable of supporting NASA, researcher Dr. Kenneth Heiser sat down with Onion reporters to detail their ongoing mission to find a NASA habitable planet. Our objective is to find a planet capable of nurturing not just life, but also a sustained interest in the exploration of the cosmos. Uh, such a planet would need to have water and proximity to 
light and heat, but also life forms with even the vaguest understanding of the importance of astronomical exploration. Ultimately, this would need to be a planet with organisms that have a genuine interest in expanding the limits of their knowledge. Heiser added that any planet capable of supporting NASA would need to be able to generate a steady stream of financing to meet the agency's $18 billion annual budget. The important thing is we just need to be patient. There's a limitless number of planets in the universe, and eventually we'll find one with the resources to support our work. We just have to, right? This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Welcome back. This is the last segment of my last show with Free Talk Live Sunday show and Brian's last and show. And mine, yeah. Two years down yeah. the tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Not down the tubes. It's been no. an awesome run and we're so happy uh, to be doing it. So we've got calls to get to, though, here in the last segment. Mark's also here with us. Of course, Mark, you're going to keep doing the Sunday show with Ian. So never fear it. We'll be back just in a little bit of a different form. And, uh, all right, let's go first to Nathan. He's on Skype. We're going to see if we can squeeze all these calls in. But hey, Nathan, you're on the line on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Well, this is the last call. So I wanted to say that uh, it's been a great it's been a great time having you guys on the show and uh, you know hearing all your ideas and thoughts and calling in. And I uh, hope you guys have uh, good luck and good wishes on whatever you choose to do next. Thank you so much. I appreciate, really appreciate that, Nathan. That. Thank Always you. Love. It's a joy to have your calls. <laughs> Okay. I did have one real quick topic, if uh, if you want. Sure. I was listening to your Keenvention panel, and you talked about how when you were doing your old show, Pork Therapy, you kind of felt like you were overburdened, so to speak, like you were trying to, um, I don't know, solve the world's problems. And it kind of reminded me of that ego side myth that I brought up before. Um, you were talking about cars that if you remember Buckminster Fuller, the inventor of the geodesic dome, mm -hmm. he had this story where he, you know, he lost his job and uh, he lost his wife, and he was contemplating suicide for a life insurance payment. Mm. And they, he had this, I think it's a myth, but he writes in his his accounts that he kind of had a vision where he realized he didn't matter, and if he only you know, benefited himself to serving the universe and humanity, then everything would be cool. And I've always been a little suspicious of that. Mm. And that's what your, uh, your story you mentioned made me think of. Because it seems like if you try to devote yourself to serving humanity – you're just going to burn yourself out. Yeah. yeah Humanity seems to be a black <laughs> hole of incompetence, right? Like they just they just can't pull themselves up. People it, don't <laughs> they, they don't want to be helped or saved necessarily. They have to. Oh, yeah, they that. do. They just won't actually be helped or saved. They'll just pull you down into the mud with them in most cases. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so I guess to just catch people up on what Nathan was referring to, we had this event, Keenvention. Keen Mark, you, you uh, hosted the media panel at Keenvention about independent media. And I was saying on the panel how basically I used to come at podcasting with this idea of like, yeah, let's help people with their relationship problems. Let's spread the word about liberty. I'm doing it for others. It was very like outwardly focused. But I mean, if I'm really honest with myself, a lot of it was because it was for me, because it was fun. And then I just sort of started feeling like, 
you know, I can't control what other people do in their lives, nor would I want to. And I don't have much influence over what everybody else does, but I do have ultimate control over what I do. So what I can do to make myself happiest is just try to be as free as I can in my own life and focus on myself and my own issues and problems, because I do have issues and problems like anyone else. And uh, that that did the trick. That made me a lot happier, for sure. And uh, I like that attitude because it... it uh it leads to, or it highlights the fact that other people have choices, just the, just the same as we do. Mm. And oftentimes the best way we can make a difference is by, you know, being the change you want to see in the world and all that and allow other people to make, you know, whatever choices they think is going to be best for their lives. Yeah, I really believe that like being a beacon of liberty or whatever message you want to put out there is the way to introduce it to other people in a non-threatening way. Like if you if you go at them aggressively and say, yeah, you should do this, like a lot of people are just going to dig their heels in and say, well, why would I want to do that? <laughs> right. But if you live the principles that you and um, you know, if you embody those principles that you want to spread, uh, people will gravitate to you who are receptive to hearing it. Um, yeah, I can't, can't, I can't agree more. Uh, best wishes and, uh, good luck in the future guys. Thank you so much, Nathan. This is not the last you'll hear from us. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks for man. calling I suspect. in. <laughs> Let's talk to Tim in, in, uh, Michigan on the phone lines. Hey Tim, you're on free talk live. Yeah. I wanted to call regarding those devices in cars that recently there was a situation where a car was stolen and there was a little girl abducted in. That's how they found them was with that GPS system in the trunk. And they don't tell the buyer that there's a GPS in the trunk. They don't tell them when they saw the car. They they saw them alone in a car on the same day. Right. And that's why they have those because they if they want to get the car back quick, they can. Yeah, exactly. It's true. I mean, it's fortunate. I'm glad that that ended it, you know, that that little girl's life, you know, ended up getting saved. If uh, we could save just one uh, child. Right. Yeah. It that, becomes a justification. That's the thing. Right. I mean, if, if you trade, yeah, that's, it's the old, it's one of the oldest sayings in America. If you trade security or if you trade liberty for security, you're deserving of neither. And uh, that's, that's the thing. I mean, we, you know, we can counter, we can be happy that that occurred, but at the same time, uh, at what price? Well, that's why it was put out there on television that way. Sure, right, to sell it as this is a good idea. Yeah. There's a lot of that goes on. That's a fact. Indeed. Tim, thank you for calling in tonight. I appreciate your thoughts. Let's talk to Doug listening in Iowa. Hi, Doug. You're on Free Talk Live. Hi there. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the kill switch. Uh, I agree that it's a slippery slope, but couldn't there be some regulations that if it's GPS tracking, they'll know if the vehicle's moving, They'll know the location, so you could just kill it at the person's home. And then uh, all technology could be used for good and bad. That's true with everything. Yep. You, think so, the, you think the companies, uh, who the creditors, are not in bed with the government? They probably would lobby against any regulation like that. Well, I just think that would be the safe way to implement it. Because yeah. you, you can't be killing it when someone's driving, right. no matter if they're five five miles an hour or if they're stopped at a stop sign. But GPS will know when they're at the address on the loan or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Just, put, just putting that out there. I think you're right. I think that's the way to go about implementing this. Yeah. Uh, it just reminds me of uh, Harry Brown's Why Government Doesn't Work book, mm -hmm. which suggests that when uh, you know people get a good idea and they try to run it through the political process, it always gets bastardized and twisted, and it never comes out the way that they had imagined. Plus, uh, I just think that you know, no matter what perfect system we come up with, there'll always be mistakes, and you know, you never know if they're going to turn these uh, cars off in the middle of an interstate or what they're going to do. Yeah, it, some people reported that their cars were turned off even though they weren't behind on their payments. So yeah, it was like errors being made. Yeah, it's a good point, but I mean, it, then it comes down to because I'm, you know, I'm, a, I mean, I'm a tech guy. I mean, I love technology. I'm, I'm into a whole lot of crazy advancements. I'm all for it, but. When these advancements haven't caught, or you know, humanity hasn't caught up with a lot of these advancements, and it's proven in the fact that we still have government, that we still have, you know, really people with a lot of malicious intent out there. Some people believe you're never going to get rid of that kind of human being. I would argue against that, but uh, that's the thing. These things can be used for good. Any technology can be used for good or evil. And while there's evil people around, I don't know. Doug, thank you for calling in yeah. tonight. I appreciate your thoughts. Yeah, I mean... Uh, 
it is kind of scary. Like, what if what if these things could be hacked? What if you could just a hacker could disable someone's vehicle? No, no. It's not what if. When? When? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's already happening. I mean, any car over 96, uh, I mean, or not any car, but most cars past, past 1996, it's already been done at Black Hat, DEF CON. You take your pick of the of the hacker convention where they've shown using a tablet or a smartphone, they can control your car. And it's really interesting that this is this is starting, this technology is starting to be used with people who have poor credit. So who are those people? The people who maybe are struggling a little bit, who are having trouble making it in society, basically, and, ha- and paying the bills well, and making ends meet. You won't be able to see this put on politicians' cars. You won't see this put on the cars of the, the respectables who are paying cash for their cars and buying outright because they have good jobs and everything. This is the people who are already a little bit marginalized, and they're not going to fight back about against it because they can't. The, um, you know, the system is set up so that people, people fall off the edge, the, the people go bankrupt. When you talk about the Federal Reserve System where money's lent into existence at interest, when it's paid back, there's no room for the interest mm-hmm. because the money has been lent into the system. And there's only, you know, if you lend in $100 into the system and then you demand that $106 get paid back, Six dollars are going to you're not going to be able to pay back six dollars because it's not there. The Federal Reserve System is set up so that there are people on the margins that can't pay. Those people are always going to be treated poorly. Yeah. Yeah, And I mean, and really, it's against everybody. I mean, even with credit card companies. Now, I mean, yes, there are some people, especially car dealerships. I've met these guys who really want to help people out. There absolutely is. But the the financial. You're supposed to get a job if you don't have a car. Right. But the financial system, as far as having poor credit and whichever, is totally set up to get people enslaved to debt. And because if you're not enslaved to the debt, what does the credit card company call you? There's a name. A deadbeat. A deadbeat. (laughs) You're insulted if you're not in debt. Yeah. You see, these systems are meant to entrap you. And, and that's disgusting. They use the term deadbeat? Yeah, that's what you're called in, in the credit card industry. You're called a deadbeat. Well, if, we're, we're up Oh, against you mean the people that just pay their credit cards off? pay it on time? Yeah, yeah. Yep, you're a deadbeat. I could beat. see why you'd call them a deadbeat, because they're using the credit card without paying anything for yep, it, essentially. you're not making anything off of them. We're up against the clock here, but that's what we want, uh, is just freedom and choices for all human beings, voluntary interactions. Thank you so much for listening. It's been such an awesome experience to be part of Free Talk Live. I will not see you next week, because I'll be gone, but you can follow Brian at Sovereign Tech and me at Let's Talk Bitcoin and my website, smvoice.info. Have you? What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. You want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308.